Well, hey everybody, it's Josh with Resort TV One, and I am live here at Epcot for Tranquil Tuesday. Welcome, everybody. Sorry, I started a minute or two late. I meant to start at the beginning of that show, uh, but I'm just running a little bit behind today on some things. It's been one of those days where everything's a little behind, but that doesn't mean we're not going to have fun. We're going to have a ton of fun tonight. What a great start. How much fun is that? And um, <clears throat> super, super beautiful. So before we get too far into it, please be sure to hit that red subscribe button right below the video and be sure to follow us on social media uh, so that you get notified every time we go live or have a new video. And hit the notification bell so you always know when we go live, if I didn't already say that. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, also, we should say hi to Leaf and Amy because they're here. What's up, guys? Hi, they're having a great, big, beautiful Christmas, and they are also staycationing. <laughs> That's the cool thing when you live down here. You can still stay in a resort. Yeah, I think you get this mindset sometimes, and we do the same thing. Sometimes it's to save money, but also you just like, oh, I live here, I don't need to stay in the hotel. But sometimes it's still fun sometimes to do. It's nice. You want to get away. Yeah. Put happy. the cats away, put it, you know, everything relaxed. Yeah. You know, don't have to worry about doing the dishes. That's right. You know, so we're having a fantastic time. <laughs> Love it. Staying at Saratoga Springs. Very cool. That's our home base for DVD. <clears throat> DVD. That's DVD. Good, to have a, good to have a home base for yeah. sure. <laughs> Very cool. Well, let's see. I don't know what we're going to do. You know what? I'm thinking Spaceship Earth. You guys want to ride Spaceship yes. Earth with me? All right, let's go do it. And then we'll come back out and watch some more. Well, you know what? I'm trying to think. I do want to see the Christmas show. Let's ride Spaceship Earth first, and then we'll come out and see if we can catch the show. It's going to be on all night, so it'll be fine. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed a little intro. Sorry I didn't get all of it in there, but I got the good part. <laughs> Uh, Mimi Carroll celebrating one month. Actually, it was one month last week. Forgot to post. No worries, Mimi. Thank you for being a member for one month. And uh, thanks for posting your message. I appreciate it. All right. Very cool. Somebody was asking about always having Tranquil Tuesday at Epcot. Yeah, we've been doing that. And if you've uh, followed us the last couple weeks, I've been trying to just enjoy the last few weeks of Epcot forever. And so, yes, we will definitely at some point do different parks. But I do really like Epcot. And so here we are. All right. Watching on a treadmill. Mike. Hey, Thomas. Hey, M. Mara. Amy loves Disney. Indiana. Vicky Gillespie. All the fun. All the people. Especially Leslie. Thank you so much. Let me throw this away here real quick. I got my got my Coke. <laughs> if you're wondering what I was talking about. So yes, I know it's probably colder where you are, but it is uh, definitely chilly here. <laughs> so especially right under Spaceship Earth, I feel like the temperature drops. Like five degrees under here. So, current situation is 54, feels like 52. So, it's not bad compared to where you are, but for Florida, that's pretty chilly, especially when the wind is whistling here. Welcome in, time traveler. Thank you. Hello, Cardboard Box. Hello, Joe Fro, Cape Cod Sarah. Um, Kristen, thank you for being a bronze member for one month. Appreciate it. Hey, Dan, how's it going? All right. So, happy Tranquil Tuesday. Thanks, Kristen. So, guys, um, I do have a premiere later. Uh, our friend 2000 Dan LB sent me some awesome footage of the System Source Museum. It's an amazing computer museum in um, Maryland. I keep saying Massachusetts, Maryland. The other, the, one of the other M states. Anyway, so um, definitely check that out. It is going to premiere pretty late tonight at 10 because um, fireworks are at 9:30 tonight. So. I'm not going to sleep a lot tonight, but that's okay. It's a really great video. And if you want to see some awesome computer history, it's a tour of the museum. I narrated it. Dan shot the footage. It's going to be fun. Yep, we're bundled. <laughs> we were in Epcot this morning. It was noticeably colder in a spaceship Earth. Yes, Ray Rose. See? You know exactly what I'm talking about. Epcot seems more relaxed than the other parks. That's true, Chuck. Absolutely true. Yeah, we'll see how the signal is in here today. Fingers crossed. At least it's warm. Yeah, Indiana, it does look a lot like Christmas. And here it feels more like Christmas. Normally in Florida, it doesn't really feel like Christmas because it's so warm. Is it cold enough to wear this here in Jersey today? <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Okay. 
A three. <laughs> Two. Settings should be set now. There we go, guys. I fixed it. We haven't gone anywhere yet, so luckily you didn't miss anything. You just miss me. You just miss me pushing buttons. I found the right channel. <laughs> Your safety remains with your hands, arms, feet, and lips inside the vehicle. And please your children. Thanks, guys. Yep, I fixed it. One of those things. The sliding doors on your time machine will close automatically. Uh, no, the weather doesn't affect it, Art. I just had the settings wrong. I fixed it. I mean, it can affect it, but tonight, I don't think cold weather affects it. It's mostly rain and lightning and stuff that affect it. Oh, yeah, we're good now. That's right, Stream Finder. Uh, Space Record lag now. We're gonna, you guys get to enjoy the whole ride, so I'll be quiet. Let's go. During your slow moving journey, your time machine will slowly rotate back and may stop the This is me to birth control. Welcome aboard. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's going to look weird. <laughs> <laughs> I moved at the last second, so I'm going to be blurry, I'm sure. Oh, wow. Thank you, Taste of Travel. I'll read it right after the ride. Thank you. 
for your return to Earth, your time machine is now rotating backward. Please remain seated. Attention, you are now rotating backward for your return to Earth. Please remain seated, time travelers. Attention, travelers. Please remain seated. Ladies and gentlemen, our time travels have been momentarily delayed. Please remain seated. Your time machine vehicle will begin moving again at any moment. Please remain seated. We'll resume our journey shortly. Thank you. That's very loud. <laughs> <laughs> Your vehicle will begin moving immediately. Remain seated, please. Our travels are resuming now.
Well done. Now, along with your answers, let's add in some amazing new technology that we happen to know about. Said something about Welcome back, time travelers. Dreamers Point. Now, I don't know. Is it open now? Project Tomorrow, where new ideas and innovations are being developed to make the world a better place. Oh, we gotta go potato in here. Really bad signal in here. Please keep your hands away from the doors and step carefully onto the moving platform. Get out of potato in just a sec. So yeah, we had two super chats. Let me make sure we get out of this lag zone first. I know we're not lagging yet, but it usually does have a little issue in here. Yep, let me pull up both of those super chats and we'll do that here in just a second. So, hi. Hi. How are you? Good for you guys. Oh, that's awesome. Where are you from? We're from Indiana. Okay, cool. South Bend. Okay. Very nice. So, yeah, can we say hi? Of course. Yeah, let's move over from the yeah. from the exit here. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, hi family <laughs> in South Bend, Indiana. Very cool. <laughs> what are your names? Liz and this is Colton. Oh, very nice. So yeah, we knew you guys would be here tonight. So we're like, oh, we got to see them and find them. Oh, I'm glad you found me. <laughs> can we get a picture taken? Of course, with you? sure. All right, perfect. Will you guys mind taking one? How are you? There you go. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> there we go. Thank you so much. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your trip. Absolutely, we will. Thank you so much for what you do too. Oh, of Watch course. You all the time. My pleasure. Thank you. Enjoy. Yes, and we want you too. Oh, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> 
yeah, we, we really appreciate what y'all oh, do. Oh, thank you. Um, we, we're Disney nuts, and when we watch y'all, we feel like we've been there. So. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Where are you guys from? South Carolina. Oh, South Carolina. And for half a second, I thought y'all were together. That's why. Oh. <laughs> that's really cool. I, I hope you guys are having a great trip so far. We are. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Have a good night. All right. So, okay. So I see the, the discussion there that the Dreamers Point is supposed to open on December 5th. So that's next Tuesday. So, yeah, don't fall on that. That's next Tuesday. That's crazy that that's opening so soon. That's really exciting. So the Dreamers Point, so that means that the Statue of Walt and everything is going to open over here. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Well, welcome, everybody. Uh, let me see if I can get the signal, the, the bit rate up a little bit. So that Dreamers Point is going to be like right here. Like, so this part is going to open. That's awesome. So on December 5th, that's not very long from now. I like that idea. Cool. All right. Well, I'm going to go, I want to go watch the Spaceship Earth show. Uh, I want to see the Christmas show. I probably just missed it at 6.30 here, but that's okay. So I'm going to try and watch it. So I hope you guys will join me for that. All right. We're featured character meet and greets. I don't think so. <laughs> Oh, there goes something. All right, well, apparently I'm going to hustle, so maybe we see what the show is. All right. It opens on Walt's birthday. That's so cool. All the center area walls come down. I don't know about that. It'll be cool to see if that's the case. We did have two Super Chats. Um, Thoroushen with 10 uh, pounds and says, Spaceship Earth shows us how connected we all are here. Uh, we are all connected through a live stream. <laughs> Operative choice. Oh, thank you. Yeah, exactly. Spaceship Earth shows us our connections to each other. It really does. And Taste of Travel sent $50 Super Chat. Wow. Grab some mold wine on us. Thank you, Spaceship Ears. Appreciate that very much. I said Spaceship Ears. Thank you, Taste of Travel. I'm sorry. My, It's been one of those days, guys. Well, thank you very, so, so very much, um, Taste of Travel. We appreciate that. Wow. Sorry, I'm listening to this. I think this is the Wish one. But again, big thanks to Taste of Travel. Oh, I'll get it right. I read it as Taste of Travel in my head, and then it said Spaceship Ear, Spaceship Earth, something before because we were going underneath of it. But anyway, thanks guys, much appreciated. This is fun. I like this this little show here. All right, guys. So let me um, switch back to here. That one's pretty copyrighted, so it's probably good that we missed a little bit of that one. Our connections and our creations. That's right, Leslie. I see what you did there. Okay. All right, friends. Yeah, it opens December 5th. Very cool. Well, I did not know that, so thank you for telling me. I've been out of the Disney news loop today. It's been one of those weird days. We got halfway to, or not halfway, we got a little ways to school, and we realized Liam hadn't had his allergy medicine, and he wanted to have that, so we took him back home to get that, so then we were, of course, running late uh, to school a little bit, which is okay. It's, worst things can happen. But then we got to school and realized that he did not have his backpack. Or his lunch. So we had to figure that all out. So it was, it's was it been, been one of those days. So, but it is what it is. There's, there was more, but you know, it's all good. Your cognitive dissonance, Josh, sensory overload after a long day of teaching. Yes, and a long, kind of a strange day for sure. Oh. All right, guys. So we have about six more minutes and there's going to be a new show. So we'll see what, what the next show is. Then we'll go maybe do the land or something. I don't know. We'll see. And yeah, it's, you know, it's chilly here. I know it's colder in a lot of other places in the country, but, you know, we're not really, not really used to it here. You haven't been a year, you're cold, yeah. You're freezing. No, you get, you get used to the warm weather, plus the fact that I still say that 54 degrees feels colder here than it does up north. It's like, it's literally like, it's like a 10 or 15 degree, like, difference. It is, it's crazy. And I've done this, like, I've always tell people, I've done this on the same day. I left here, and it was like... 45 or something and it was pretty chilly and I had my coat on and I was really you know just kind of like hun hun hunkered down and got on a plane went to Indiana this is in the winter and I was like got off the plane it was one of those it was a small airport so it was one of those regional things where you get off right on the runway right. oh. so I didn't even go through the jetway I got off on the runway and I had my coat kind of in my hand because I'd had it off on the plane and I was like and I'm thinking a jetway, so I didn't put it on right away. And I was like, oh, I guess I need to put my... Well, it's not that cold. No. That's weird. Is it warmer here than it is in, in Florida? And I looked at my phone, and it was 31. But it felt warmer, <laughs> it felt warmer 
because it, it was not as damp. It always seems like there's always a breeze there. Yeah, there's always a breeze and it's the humidity, yeah, for sure. So yeah, so 54 degrees is almost shorts weather. Yeah, if the sun's out up north, 55, 60 degrees, yeah, we'd be pretty warm, but not, not here. <laughs> not here. I spoke to someone who lives in Florida. Um, I'd take caution driving certain streets because the roads are damaged from nonstop rains. Yes, for sure, Doug. Yeah, we've got some roads that are damaged around us for sure. The land is more than Soren right now. It's 30 and Soren's 25. Wow. And see, when I was eating dinner, they were 10 and 15. So it'll go down. It'll be fine. Thanks, Ginger. So anyway, so yeah. But yeah, like literally walked outside and the ha the humidity does amplify it. I walked outside and it was like, it's nice and warm and it, it was 31. So yeah. Humidity gets you when it's hot and when it's cold. That's right, cardboard yeah, box. Oh, yeah. It really does. It gets you on both sides. Yeah. <laughs> yep, December 5th is Walt Disney's birthday. Hello, David. How are we on this brisk evening? David, we are doing fantastic. Hello, Faultless Walt. Hello, Classy Disney Mom. So yeah, um, tonight after the stream, it's pretty late, but it's going to be a premiere of a video on the channel, uh, on actually on my other channel, Retro TV One Tech, and I'm gonna be talking about a system source museum, it's computer history, all kinds of things. It's even got the older like cell phones and stuff, like the old Nokias and the old iPhones and stuff. Pretty cool, so definitely check that out. Our friend Dan filmed it and I just went ahead and um, narrated over it. Hey, resort budgeting. And thank you to those of you who are members as well. We appreciate you. You get the special emojis and all that to use. Thanks, guys. And I do want to... Hold on just a second, friends. Uh, I do want to also thank our Platinum patrons here. Uh, platinum members, sorry. Our Platinum members, Jack Sparrow, Amy Moore, Go Mini, James Hahn, Maker Emily, Ali Verissimo, and Alan J. All of those fine people have pledged um, $50 a month on YouTube membership. So thank you so, so very much for that $50 a month there for YouTube uh, memberships. That's pretty awesome. And Wayne N. sent $16. Says, thanks, Josh. Wayne N. Thank you so much, Wayne, for the $16 PayPal. Really appreciated. Yeah, so we're getting close, guys. We're getting very, very close. Yeah, you got the Spaceship Earth one and the sunglasses and the, all the things. So, and tomorrow we're going to be live at Jollywood Nights. Guys, Jenna and I both will finally be back. It, it has been like almost a week since we streamed, or two weeks since we streamed together. So uh, definitely um, stay tuned for that tomorrow. I actually am taking the day off on Thursday and Friday. Um, and I, that because I'm going to be out late on Wednesday. Um, and my brother is coming into town, so there's no, there's no, uh, no stream on Friday, so... We're probably not Saturday either, but that's okay. I'm going to see my brother. I get to see him less than once a year, so it's totally going to be worth taking a little bit of time away from the stream. We did Jollywood Nights last week. What'd you think? It was awesome. actually, it was great. Yeah, we did the shows, both shows. They were awesome. The shows are awesome. They, so did, they were awesome. Did you feel like there was enough to do? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Did you ride any rides, or did you just do the shows and the food and stuff? Uh, no, we did, we did a couple of rides. Yeah. We did uh, Mickey and Minnie Runaway. The shows, the shows, the shows were great. Had some, had some snacks, and you know, yep. uh, the burning cookie is actually really good. Okay. Like yeah. Very cool. With, without the ice cream. Yeah, it was cold, great. It was cold last night too. We yeah. Were like, no ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> just a cookie. Yes. We had a good time. Awesome. I'm glad to hear. All right, guys. One more minute, and we will be seeing our next show, whatever it is. Uh, believe it or not, I know our, our brother's from out of the, he lives out of the country, so we don't get to see him that much. Overseas. Family time is so important. Have a wonderful time with your brother. Thanks, Kathleen. Uh, no, Eden, we've done, uh, we've done not very many, but we've missed, um, we've missed some Friday Night Lives for sure. I mean, it's very rare. It's probably like once or twice a year, but we, we have missed a few. So, yeah, very rare, but we do miss them, but this is an important reason to miss for sure. So, he does love Disney, uh, maybe not as much as we do. Uh, he did work here in the college program, so that's pretty cool. What is your favorite ride at any of the parks? Um, I mean, i got to say People Mover, but there's several others that I really enjoy. Guardians here, Spaceship Earth that we just rode, um, lots of it. All right, enjoy the show, guys.
Oh, and look, now it's snowing. This actually is cool. This is, a, is like a little snow because you can see it. Watch it accumulate there at the bottom. It's really cool. They've got this, and then they've got a little candy cane thing that they do that's kind of like a screensaver. So everybody say hi to Carlos. <laughs> Snuck up on me. There's like, he's like this, there's like this head right next to me. I was like, who is this? And it's Carlos. All right, we're fine. We're fine. Awesome. How are uh, you? Good, how are you? All right. Never seen this in person, so I told you, yeah, I'm not sitting in the room. Kids no. Are cold. I'm like, I'm heading out. She came with me, but... It's not cold yet. It was it was cold this morning, but it's not cold yet. It's layer up, you're good. Yeah, I'm layered. Yeah. That's that's how I feel. I you know now, when it drops below forty, then I'm like, yeah, it's cold now. <laughs> but look, you luckily, at these forties is like, yeah. it's you all, yeah. <laughs> What's I used to say is so funny because like it's the same thing. Like I got off a plane in Indiana, it was like thirty-one degrees one time. I was like, oh, I don't need my coat. No, but right. here here you do. Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, how are you? <laughs> Good, how are you? <laughs> what, you watch all the time? Yeah. Hey, cool. Where are you from? Argentina. Argentina. You want to say hi on the live stream? Hi, hello. From Argentina, what are your names? Pablo and Veronica from Argentina. Nice to meet you. Now it's like summer in Argentina, right? Yes. It's the other. Yes. Now we live in Wales. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, please. We watch you and Jenna and my dad. So you're always on our living. Oh, I appreciate that. Of course, of course. Even when we. You get it? There we go. <laughs> Even when we leave the house, we, oh, yeah. we, we let our dogs watch this <laughs> Oh, good. <laughs> I've heard that dogs like us, so. <laughs> One more view for Resort TV. Oh, thank you. You guys are so nice. That's thank so fun. You. Bye. Well, enjoy the rest of your trip. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. All right, guys, and we got, um, let's see, we got, you can see it's kind of like accumulating down there. It's so cool. It's like a little snow screensaver. Uh, it's snowping. Just kidding. Yeah, the walls are coming down, I think. Bentley said he just subscribed. Thank you, Bentley, for subscribing. Hello, Tony. Wait, is it your birthday today? Yes. Somebody no, said it was... Oh, wait, I saw that. Your birthday stream. Yes, you're, it, you were right after... Uh, I'm right after Jenna. Jenna was yesterday on today. Yep. It was... Oh, I remember you telling me that. Yeah. It has been a day, so I don't even know. Oh, we got to school, and Liam didn't have his backpack, and we live a half an hour away, so that wasn't... We. It was... He was just not going to have it today. Right. Um, and so that was fun. But anyway, it is what it is. We. It's one of those days. <laughs> And then Steph decided that um, she we got one of those texts for the post office that um, where they say that you have a package, but except for it's not the post office. So anyway, long story short, we had to change a couple credit cards, so that was fun. Oh yeah. She called me and I was like, no, no, don't do that. <laughs> Funny thing, you bring that up when it fueled up just now before heading over here, and my card didn't want to work. Oh. It worked this morning. Nice. Did you tell your bank that? Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. My yeah. wife, it's my wife's bank. She works for me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, but it's just that one card. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, something's up. Yeah. yeah. I already told her, call, call your, and she works in that department. Call them up. Call them, they're, everybody's home now. I'm like, yeah, see if they, if like they can figure out what's wrong with it. You have 24 hours? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> everybody else is sticking everybody's out. clocked out. Yeah. Uh, too funny. Uh, hello from Argentina. Yeah, Maria says, David, you had you had flurries there. Hey, Jesse Mouse, how are you? Yeah, we had you had real you had real snow there in New Jersey. Anyway, it's been a day, but I am ready for um, Tranquil Tuesday today. Mickey View said it. Oh, that's cool. Oh, we like Braden. He's a good guy. He is a good guy. Makes some great videos. All right, love Tranquil Tuesdays, especially the Epcot. Thank you, Mountain Warriors. And we are going to move on. We got three more minutes till the next show. I just want to see the Christmas show. I haven't seen it yet. So thank you for bearing with us here. It's been super fun. Hello, on and popping. Looking forward to seeing Wall Statue. Me too, Jesse. Super. Uh, it's gonna be awesome. I I really can't wait to see it. It's gonna be beautiful. I think. New Epcot show coming up soon. Yeah, next Tuesday. Walls are down and all the things. Now we won't be first to show you that, of course, unless Jenna wants to go live in the morning. Uh, I'll be at work on Tuesday. But that's all good. My night last night because of the full moon, Amy. Yeah, I guess maybe that's it. Doing great, Jesse. Thank you for asking. I'm in Detroit and we had two inches. Okay. 
Wow. Sounds like you have, you have more than New Jersey. I'm just see, starting to realize how many people scream at Disney. Wish I could do the same. Oh yeah, bro, creative. No, it's a lot. It's a lot. We um, we I think we were the first on YouTube, but um, yeah, it's it's been it's a lot of people. One rule of thumb to avoid scammers. Yeah, just don't click on links and text messages. Is one to say hi to everyone. Please say hi to the new number 23 on the girls' varsity hockey team. Hey, is number 23? I love it. She made the hockey team. Wow, cool. I definitely don't skate well enough to do that. So kudos to her. I, we have ice skated though. Um, they used to have a ice rink there at IU Bloomington when I went there, so that was fun. Uh, so we'd go down there when they weren't having you know hockey practice or something. You could go down there and skate, and it was like two or three dollars, super cheap. Uh, the shows were every ten minutes on Spaceship Earth. Score Jason says I need the Tranquil Tuesday. Yes, for sure. All right, guys, about one minute, then we'll be ready to go. It might be it might be two more shows. If this show isn't the right one, then we'll go up to Moana for like two minutes and come back or something. I don't know. I just want to make sure we want to make sure we keep it moving. But I really want to see it. Pretty good at ice falling. Yeah, me too. Yes, look at the URL. Yes, that's important. This one was USPS.com instead of .gov. You got to make sure that it's .gov because it's a government website. It says she's happy to teach you how to skate after one lesson. You'd be all set. Nice. It's been, I literally, I was in college the last time I ice skated. So it's super, 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 uh, was fun though. Hello, Jim from Indiana. How are you? Oh, here we go. Showtime. It's 15 seconds after. I've been here enough to know that. Me too, Grey Rose. All right, here we go. That is very nice. I like that. 
earlier they were doing this uh, candy cane pattern and it was actually being mirrored inside of um, Connections Cafe, which was cool. I didn't know Connections Cafe sometimes mirrors Spaceship Earth. It doesn't mirror, like right over the Starbucks, it doesn't mirror um, the shows, but it mirrors whatever the screensaver look is to some extent. So that was kind of cool. I don't know. Either way, super fun. So, all right, that was fun. Cool. Well, I think I am ready to go now because there's not there's not two holiday ones. That's it, right? Yeah, I think that's it. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I was just telling him how the Creations Cafe mirrors what's out here, but I don't know yeah. if it's doing it now. So, anyway, I think I'm going to move on maybe and we'll walk around a little bit. So, hello. <laughs> you remember Suzanne? Yeah, nice to see you. You guys having fun? Yes. It's awesome. Yeah. That's good. Well, I mean, you have to. You can sleep at home, right? Right, exactly. <laughs> or when you're dead. One of the other stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, that's what my, my uh, saxophone teacher had a sign on his door because he was always telling us to go practice. And it said, but it was like, it said coffee in real big letters and it said you can sleep when you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> I say it all the time. I say it all the time. <laughs> you know, you never know when you're, well, we know when we're coming back. A lot of trips when next yes. four months, but you don't know, man. That's why, but I'm the drill sergeant. Oh, yeah. Uh, go, go, go. Let's do it. I would have never guessed that. <laughs> Not in chats either, no. Never. No, never. never. Yeah, I know. I, know. <laughs> I was going to say, like I was you know, telling you, Josh knows me time. way too well. We've been, yeah. <laughs> they said Josh has a character spot. Well, but we, we've we known all these people for a while, though. So, <laughs> They're, you're hoppers, but you're like long-time hoppers that have been around for a while. Here. I mean, you, when we found you, you had 20, 25,000. Was it 25? 30,000. Yeah. yeah, wow. It was number 30,000 subscriber. Okay. That's pretty cool. You're going what? Nine to 2020, 19 somewhere in there. Um, you mean I'm like saying that number? Oh yeah, that we're number was was back then. Yes. Yeah, yeah we were. Yeah, 2019. Yeah, somewhere 20. Yeah. Well, no, so 2018. I think we had 20,000, yeah. 30,000, and the, I don't remember all the numbers, but yeah. So we're well, hoping we'll, you, we'll hit we'll hit one eight. Yeah, <laughs> we'll hit 185 here pretty soon. So that'll be good. Eventually 200. Nice. I got a long way to go. Long. <laughs> it's fun. It's super fun. Well, I think we're going to go walk around a little bit yeah, and be tranquil. <laughs> I'll wait to see if some more. When does this go off again? Every 10 minutes. Yeah. All right, so we're going to stick around. So here. five more minutes. Yeah, never saw them in person. Oh, no, it's so, so good. And I promised her we were going to watch Jess and not go hang out with John. Hey, that's okay. <laughs> so it's totally okay. Happy wife, happy life. She go. might. Yeah, we can't keep up. With her. <laughs> she might be going back alone. Who knows? So I might. If you need a bathroom break, if you need a bathroom okay. break, okay. Text me. Okay. You know how. Oh, for sure. I'll be here for a little bit. So. Well, I appreciate it. All right, <laughs> All right guys. Be right back or anything. What's that? I said instead of doing it, be right. Be right back. back. Yeah, it's it's ready, but either way. <laughs> it's nice to have that. It is nice yeah. for sure. All right. Jim. Awesome. See you guys. Hi, yeah. Big fan, Jeff nice to meet you. No relation to nice Mr. Morrow. You're you nice, no relation to Mr. Morrow? No, Paging Mr. Morrow. <laughs> That's awesome, though. That's a great name. Big fan, though. I mean, if, if you, uh, you know, you, you, you could name a child Tom, and then you'd be good to go, right? That's my middle name's Thomas. <laughs> what, really? So you're, real, you're really, like, you really are Tom Morrow? I'm Jeff. Jeff, Jeff Tom. Tom Morrow. Wow, that's amazing. Nice to meet you. Nice you want to say hi on the stream? Yeah, Guys, it's Tom Morrow. <laughs> that's awesome. Where are you guys from? Oh yeah. It's, it's be so my grandparents were um, from uh, Barna. I don't. You probably don't know where that is, but okay. My grandpa was the okay. Well, my grandpa was the mayor of Varna for a while. <laughs> What's that? Oh, up north. So we're here enjoying the weather. Big fans. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Nice to meet. And I was born in Illinois too, so it's nice to meet fellow Illini. I guess is the word for it, right? <laughs> Awesome. Christmas, yeah. Merry Christmas. Are you guys hanging out here or are you going to... Okay. Well, okay it's, it's all good. I just didn't want to leave you behind. We'll see you all later. All right, guys. Let's walk somewhere. I don't know where. We'll go somewhere. I was going to go to the land, but it's still pretty busy. The narrator for, um, for Candlelight is like Anna something? Anne Margaret. Margaret. Yes. We go I don't know who that is. You don't know who the man was? 
She kind of looks familiar, but somebody's gonna have to refresh my memory of what she does. Oh, okay, okay. The icon? Let's go in the, I'm just gonna pop into connection real quick and show everybody, let's see what it's doing. Cause it really was, Alif and Amy were having dinner right behind me, it just so happened. And um, it really does like seem to change with, excuse me, Spaceship Earth. Okay, wow, sorry, hiccup. All right, so also we do wanna, as we're walking here, thank our awesome sponsors. We have um, mickeyblog.com and mickeytravels.com. MickeyTravels.com. If you want to book your next trip right here to Walt Disney World, it's MickeyTravels.com. They can't control the weather for you, but they can book you a really, really nice trip. And it, it costs the same as if you booked it yourself, but they do all the hard work for you. So that's MickeyTravels.com. So definitely go and help them and have them uh, help you build your next trip. So that's MickeyTravels.com. Tell them Resort TV One sent you. Yes, walk somewhere. No hustle. That's true. Yes, we'll walk. Hey, Stacy. <laughs> Uh, and Margaret has won five Golden Globes and has been nominated for two Academy Awards, two Grammys, actors. Go wow! So she's like got all the hardware and six Emmy Awards. She's got all the hardware. That's cool. So I think that is the same uh, show. That is the same holiday show as last year. I said holiday, holiday show as last year. <laughs> Boy, this this must definitely be. Uh, one of those crazy days. It's going to be very interesting by the end, for sure. And Jenna had a great birthday stream on Sunday. Her actual birthday was yesterday, but thank you for everybody being so generous to her. We appreciate it very much. Oh, look, there's lights on some of these trees over here. Look at this. That's kind of cool. They're getting them all decorated up for next week. Okay, so actually it is kind of doing the same thing. Watch this. So over here, you can't see it yet, but over here, hello, <laughs> over here by Starbucks, it's kind of got the same little like twinkling pattern as Spaceship Earth. Earlier, it was really obvious because Spaceship Earth was like a candy cane pattern. So I just noticed this and it makes me happy because anything synchronized like that, that's like Epcot. It's so good. Okay. Now, now look at this. So this is, so this is the regular Spaceship Earth show. It's happening right now and they have changed the colors to match so it is matching that is i never noticed that and it actually matches out there too all right disney credit yeah i never anybody else noticed that before am i just like way behind here wow hello zippity doo doug so there you got that right there and you got spaceship earth is doing the spaceship earth show which has that color scheme in it eventually so yeah, so that's cool. That's some good old school Epcot. I wish, uh, I don't know if Spaceship Ears knew that. I wish he was, he was in here during the ride, but I wish he was in here to see that because it really is one of those old school Epcot things. So the kind of details that people may not notice, but it's really, really important. And here, let's go through here and we'll show that the actual lights in the hallway are the same as well. So that's pretty cool. It's the same color scheme. You can kind of see it from here. I never noticed it before. Also featured on the Flintstones is in Margrock. That's cool. It's so even here, it, the color scheme matches. That's cool. I like that a lot. It is very Epcot, Jen. You are correct. Yeah, so look, it is matching. The color scheme is the same. And Bentley, of course you can tell a joke as long as it is family friendly. We do everything family friendly here so that everybody's safe to watch. So there you go. So you can kind of see here, it's kind of matching. It's changing to that same color scheme here. So that's pretty fun. I'm glad they're still working the magic. So yeah, so don't say the magic's gone because they're doing something that even, even me, the details guy, didn't notice until today. So that's pretty cool. Little stuff, they wouldn't have to do it. And here it is. So that's cool. Every detail is thought out to the nth detail. Thank you for pointing it out. You're very welcome. But the, the thing that really made us notice it was that it changed right when Spaceship Earth changed to that candy cane. That was the most exact, that was the most like dead giveaway that that was actually happening. Suddenly the lights came on, it was like, oh, Oh, that's cool too, Stacy. I didn't know that. Very cool. The more and more you spend time on the parks, the more details, yes, for sure. All right, so I think I am going to, let's see. I'm trying to think where I need to go here. 
Let's go back this way for a minute. <clears throat> I do want to kind of see if it does the... Um, I really would love to see it do the candy cane background thing again. I don't know how often it does that, but it will definitely turn candy cane in here when it does that. This is super cool. If not, we'll check. I'm going to check the wait time for the land and Soren. We can do one of those maybe. Um, okay, it's going down. Yeah, so the land is 20 now, so we can wait a little bit. It'll probably keep going down. I guess we could jump in Finding Nemo before that because it'll be... It's only five minutes, so... All right, so here... So there's the end of the Spaceship Earth show right there. This is the main Beacon of Magic show. And we'll see if it changes. So, okay, it's fading out. Oh, there it goes. Okay, now watch this, guys. So it's Candy Cane. Watch this. It just changed to Candy Cane. That is super cool. Let me turn the brightness down. So here. It's doing Candy Cane now. In here. And so is Spaceship Earth. Look at this. That is so cool. I love that. How awesome. And Margaret is a treasure, long, fabulous career starting in the 60s. That's really cool. So there you go, guys. Look at that. So you've got the... You've got the uh, You've got the candy canes on both sides. I just, I don't know. That is, it's a Disney connection. It's next level. Again, they wouldn't have to. Oh, and look, it is, it's mirrored over here too. It sure is. They wouldn't have to do that, but they did. I love that so much. I, I, I know it's silly maybe, but to me, that's what makes Epcot, Epcot. Everything's supposed to line up and sync and be all, oh, that's bright, be all technologically advanced here. So, um, right there. So you can see that Epcot, Spaceship Earth Candy Cane. Let's go over here and I'll show you that it's Candy Cane over here too. Sorry, I'm like walking around in circles, but this is sweet. Hello. <laughs> it's the Connections Cafe. Yes, it is. Did I say the wrong thing? Yeah. Did I say Creations? I don't know. Either way, it's super cool. So yeah, look at that. Uh, is your daughter with you? I don't have a daughter. I have a son. So look. I love that. Come on. Where else in the world has that level of detail? That is so cool. That is just awesome. So there you go. So now next time you come, you can see it. It's not always perfect. Like they don't do the full shows on these. It's mostly the, the stuff between the shows. Oh, it's connected. That's the idea. Oh, I'm, okay. Makes sense, Streamfinder. I got it now. Sorry. The, the delay in the chat made me forget what I had said. Okay. That is super, super cool. Anyway. All right. So I'm going to walk back this way one more time. Uh, what's the quickest way? Yeah, we'll go this way. Last time. And then we'll uh, head over to the land maybe. I might have you guys uh, I'm talking about that restroom break. I might take that restroom break when we walk by the bathrooms if you don't mind keeping everybody occupied it's more definitely way more interesting than a brb for sure <laughs> so there it is again <laughs> yeah i love that jiminy jen i love your name too that's cool uh, jenna yeah jenna is my sister um yeah she's my sister so hey sydney did you hear the news that yeah that's what I've heard, and it looks like it's ready. I mean, you can kind of see trees are in and stuff. I mean, you know, I'm not going to peek over the wall, but, you know, you can kind of just get an idea. Yeah, there's a there's an inner wall. Oh, is there? That just blocks off the building. Ah. Okay, yeah, I guess you can see over it on the monorail. That is just so cool. Oh, there comes that breeze. It's 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 getting cooler for sure. Hey Blair, you could tell what's on Spaceship Earth before getting able to see it, just seeing the lights and connections. That's right, Chris, absolutely. Yeah, Kyle, isn't it neat? You're a perfect host, the way that you read chat. Think how good you would be with a cue card, <laughs> with cue cards, a natural. I think Streamfinder. Yeah, you know, I can definitely read stuff, but my brain kind of goes off in its own direction sometimes, so I'd have to work on that. Why did Norway put barcodes on the boat so they can scan the Navy and, oh my goodness, a cardboard box? All right, uh, Josh, are you and Jenna planning to do more Christmas parties? Yes, we have one on December 15th. 
one on December 15th. So that'll be fun. All right, I will be right back if you guys can sit here and admire Candy Cane Spaceship Earth if you want. I'd <laughs> be happy to. Got it? Okay. Perfect. Yep, got I'll be it. Right back. Hi, everyone. It's Amy and Leaf, and it's freezing here. <laughs> Um, so, Spaceship Earth, Candy Cane, it's very cool. Hey Vicky, how you doing? Oh, freezing in Florida is, is, uh, it's different from other places. So, uh, yeah. Uh, what's the temp? It's probably in the 50s now. Which isn't, which isn't cold. Which isn't, which isn't really cold, but it is actually, um, it is actually breezy. This is Amy Stewart. I uh, usually watch with my husband, Leif Watson. So, we're usually together watching, uh, watching the fun <laughs> so uh, it's all good <laughs> poor Amy Moore see Amy you know there's too many of us now in the thing right I'm just kidding we all need more Amy's that's what we need J -Dub, yes it is cold here how many miles do you walk on average oh <laughs> Four is a whole different cold it is a whole different cold and it is definitely a whole different. Yes, yes. I, I lived in uh, Kentucky and I lived in Indiana and I also lived in Ohio and New Jersey and Delaware. So I've been to all those cold places. I'm done with that. Well, at least I thought I was comes the next show. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's beautiful. Hey, Stephanie from Ohio. Josh is Josh is taking a break. All the Amy's should unite. That's true. There. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. New Orleans. This looks like cold down there too. It yeah, does look like it. Yeah. That's cool. It is very cool. Like, well, Meredith, we have lots in common then, probably. All right, Josh is back, so there we go. We're going to go over to the other side of the park here and do, like, the land and um, <clears throat> maybe uh, maybe do Nemo first to let the land calm down a little bit. We'll see. Okay. Super fun, guys. <laughs> Let's see what the temp is now. It's definitely getting cooler, for sure. Um yeah, so right now, it's way cooler under Spaceship Earth. I mean, I'd say it feels like about 45 under here, but it's right now 52. 52, yeah, it feels like 50 right now. All right. It feels colder than that under here. Have you found the hidden Mickey in Journey of Water? I have not. Is that a thing? I don't know. Well, thanks for being here, guys. And let me know, have you seen Disney Wish? Um, is it a fun movie? I've heard both ways about it. I want to see it for myself. <laughs> Getting cooler than Epcot. Impossible. That's right. Mouse from the Couch. Enjoy your trip, it says. Cool. I didn't see what Mouse from the Couch said, but I love your username. That's super fun. All right. Okay, let me turn the uh, brightness back up here. Perfect. Underneath Spaceship Earth is a guaranteed wind tunnel. Yeah, so that's why you get all these crazy... Uh... 
So that's why you get all these colder temperatures under it. <sighs> now is it anybody's spirits jersey? Yeah, I've got a I've got an old navy uh, fleece on, so so I actually have a Christmas shirt on under this, but you know you can't see it because it's like it's like two layers down. I also have a windbreaker. And uh, some earmuffs if the wind gets cool. I definitely don't want to be, don't want to be catching a cold, you know, because I got we got Jollywood nights tomorrow, so I want to be ready to go for that. But and again, I lived in Indiana. I know it's not cold, but it's definitely like you know, less comfortable than normal. <laughs> it's Florida cold, 100. percent And I remember being up north too. Like when it was 20 degrees, we didn't really go outside. I mean, you, you went outside to get to your car. And to get to the store or to get to work, you didn't stand around outside. <laughs> now, if you did, you know, we, sometimes we had snow. Then we bundle up real good. We put the put the snowsuit and the hat and the gloves and all the things. Then you were warm. Yeah. And that was super fun. I, I had a fun time. We'd be out for hours bundled up like that. It's hard to find that stuff down here. Oh yeah, you, there's no uh, no snowsuits down here. Well, it was funny. One time we actually did have below freezing. I mean, we'll have below freezing. You know, a couple times. It, a couple times a year we'll have below freezing. I even streamed Magic Kingdom one time when it was, we started out, it was 29 degrees and I went on the stream and said, okay, nobody can say it's not cold now. It is actually officially freezing here. And, uh, but anyway, so that happened and um, here the mine birds are back, guys. So that was super fun. Yours? Yours? <laughs> exactly. Yes, definitely. Yeah, no, it's too warm, way too warm for snow gear now. Yeah, if you put snow gear on now, you'd be hot pretty quickly. Yeah, no, 100% too warm for it here. No, a sweatshirt's fine, and if you have a, if you have a hat, it helps. If not, you know, the, the hat just helps with the with the wind if it gets a little windy. It works. My wife and I have seen Wish three times since the 18th. We love it. That's cool. That's good to hear. I'm glad to hear people that like it. Bill's odds and ends. We will be down there on the first. Hope to see you. Yeah, for sure, Bill. Hope to see you too. Whew, it is warmer in here. All right. Hey, Noel. Welcome back. All right. Oh, and you asked me if I remembered you earlier, and of course I do. Hey, Jordan. Hey, Frame of Motion. Yep, so I'm glad they're back because, like I said, they were erroneous, erroneously reported to be gone, but that obviously is not true. <laughs> it's like one of those old talk shows, Lie Detector Chest found that that's a lie. <laughs> you guys remember all that? Those old, old 90s and early 2000s talk shows where they do all the lie detector tests? That's so funny. I guess that was because we didn't have social media, and now everybody just watches social media. I don't know which is worse. <laughs> Oh, and Margaret started movies with Elvis. That's cool. I didn't know that. And Frank. Wow. Awesome. Yeah, that's true, Wendy B. The cold gear sold up north is much more intense. You've got to endure those Packers games. I know I had, uh, I have a friend on Facebook who was at the Purdue, one of the Purdue games up in, uh, yeah, um, up in West Lafayette, you know, and it's cold enough up there for sure. Not as cold as Green Bay, but um What's funny is um, they had, uh, yeah, they were all bundled up, though, because you're going to be out there for several hours, so they all had this, the hats and the gloves and the parkas on. Yeah, hit the like button, Imara is right. Hey, Janice Disney, how are you? And Kelly's here. Kelly's talking about teaching fourth grade. I was watching earlier, and fourth grade, that's a good age. Liam's got a couple years before he gets to that, but, yeah, that's a fun age to teach. That's true, cardboard box, yes. That's, thank you. Yeah, I think social media and streaming is probably worse. Um, we're talking about, like, this morning, you know, or any morning, uh, sometimes we can't let Liam watch TV in the morning because then he won't want to 
turn it off and go to school when it's time. And so we're like, okay, well, you, you know, we can just play, you know, in your room while we're waiting for it to be time to go. And um, I asked Steph, I said, you know, I, I feel like I was always ready to go whenever the shows were over. And then it dawned on me when I said that. I said, well, that's why. Because when I watched G.I. Joe and it was over at 7 and then the bus came, the show was over. There was no option to watch more. It was just over. And then the news started. And I didn't want to watch that. <laughs> so, yeah, so I think that's the difference is like now you can just stream it whenever you want. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so uh, different. All right. Hello. Okay, guys. Enjoy the ride. Right, Kyle, we did. Transformers and G.I. Joe. Did you guys have the same thing? And then at 7 o'clock, the news started. And it was time to go to school. It was about perfect. Oh, yeah, David, for sure. He, man. Enjoy, guys.
it's exactly 3.2 seconds between the <laughs> Hey, where are you going? Starfish will turn our stomachs inside out. I can use your friends. All right, guys. <laughs> I keep saying, I keep tripping on stuff. She said, "Watch step," and I didn't watch it very well. All right. So, dolphins. Somebody said dolphins. I do want to get over to the land, though. I love the starfish at the end. The one times when she says, "Take me with you." I mean, it's a nice song, but they never stop. Never, never, ever, never, 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 ever, never, <laughs> never. <laughs> so yeah, dolphins not out right now. It looks like. Hi, Josh. Sherry and I are back in Morocco. We've been looking forward to meeting you and the uh, schedule magically lined up. That's awesome. Hopefully we, we run into you guys sometime tonight. Very cool. I don't know if we're headed back that way anytime soon, but we're going to definitely head towards the land and then we'll see. Yeah, well, hopefully we'll see you guys around. Hey, 20 Tim. 20 TLM. Knicks are actually good members. Uh, get some exclusive emojis. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's right, Amar. Uh, that, that fish blends in with the uh, gravel there pretty well shells or whatever it is. Uh, one lone white fish. Hello, white fish. <laughs> one fish, two fish, white fish. Just the white fish. <laughs> yeah, just the white fish. <laughs> ah, okay. Let's see if our manatee friends are having fun. Okay, Chris, cool. See you then. Oh, yeah, my Disney Park memories. We were talking about that earlier. That's super cool. That Anne Margaret had a guest appearance on Flintstones as Anne Margrock. Yep, very cool. All right. I think we're going to head around to the land here, guys. I'm not going to do a full tour of this today because I want to want to see those Christmas lights. We'll see how they work. And I'm going to try a different connection inside the land and just see what happens. We're going to just try it and see. I don't know. It might work. It might not. <laughs> I don't know. Tune in next time and find out. <laughs> Liam loves this little play area in here with Bruce. They used to have a uh, dive suit in here you could play with in that room. That was fun. All right. So. We're doing surf and turf. That's right, David. Oh, my goodness. Yep. The, land, the sea and then the land. All the things. So at 9.30 we'll have fireworks and then at 10 o'clock I'll have a premiere. It's going to be super fun. And uh, it'll be our last time watching Epcot Forever right here on T uh, Tranquil Tuesday. And that's why I've been doing it so much. But um, next Tuesday, Luminous will premiere. So Monday we'll be here for the very last Epcot Forever. At least for now. I'm sure it'll come back. I really... I believe that it will. That's why it's called Epcot Forever, because it's going to come back over and over again. And I'm okay with that. Hello, Bo Peep Girl. Yeah, Moana is open. We just walked by it a minute ago. No, you don't need a license. Just have a camera. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can hear you. <laughs> uh, you know, not very many actually. No, every once in a while, but not very often. 
Yeah. They're always surprised. They're always surprised when you uh, respond to them, though. <laughs> Well, that's good. <laughs> I mean, that's admirable. <laughs> uh, I love it. You hear so many things. You do hear a lot of interesting things in the park. What is the one thing you wish stayed in, uh, the one thing you wish didn't come? Oh, out of all the things. Um, good question. So... The one thing I wish had stayed is out of the five years, probably would have been, uh, and somebody's going to tell me another one that I probably forgot, but at least the top of my mind right now is a uh, great movie ride. I wish that would have stayed. I wish Runaway Railway would have went, would have gone somewhere else because I like it. I like the ride. It's a great ride. I just also want movie ride. I want both, <laughs> you know? So, I mean, I know that's like unreasonable probably, but I, I do want both of those. As far as what I wish hadn't come, hmm... I don't know if there's anything that I just don't like. I mean, I guess I would say if I had to pick something, I'd say Genie Plus because, you know, I don't necessarily like the fact that I can't get a fast pass without paying for it. I, but at the same time, for annual pass holders, there is a little bit of a benefit because it used to be we couldn't get any good fast passes because uh, anybody that stayed in a resort got all the good ones 60 days out. So there's that too. So I don't know. So. Again, that's from my perspective as a local. It's not necessarily representative of what somebody else might think. All right. That's funny, Brad. Hey, Tanina. Ep uh, Epcot at night. Yes, Amy is so beautiful. Jesse said, oh, the things you hear walking around the parks. Yeah. I mean, she could have actually said the word. I'm glad she didn't. And then there we go. So yeah, we, but apparently she's never said it. So we're in, we're in good shape. <laughs> All right. Hey, Disney Baker, how are you? See you real soon. Awesome. Oh, there's Mickey. Ready? One, two, three. Bam. Mickey shot. He's got his farmer Mickey outfit on. Has a good time. Is that Mickey's manager? <laughs> All right. We are here in cold Cincinnati. Yeah. All right. 20 minutes. Let's see if it looks actually like 20 or not. <laughs> uh, Goofy Magic, doing great. Thank you for asking. Okay, so I... No, that doesn't look bad at all. We are going to find where the end of the line is and get right in it. It's like it's right here. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, good Indiana banter. Yes, always fun. Always fun. Okay, guys. So, uh, let me switch the connection real quick. We're going to put you guys in BRB for just a second. Enjoy a little BRB magic. Actually, I don't think I... Hold on just a second. I'll be right. All right. Thank you. <laughs> There it is. I'll be right back.
welcome back guys we are all good we'll see if this works if not oh well <laughs> but we're gonna try it hey Gia that's <laughs> what you have to do in tech sometimes is just try it <laughs> Does it work? oh the, the lounge yeah I was, it was cool but there wasn't a lot there it was still cool that they had something It was, yeah, it was just a month. Yeah, hi, Gia. Good to see you. Currently 51 in Bay Lake. Feels like 50 with the lower 48. Yeah, so it's not getting a ton cooler. Hey, Jim. Good to see you. All right, we're almost there. Thanks, Noel. Thanks, everybody. And we're getting very close to 185K. We're only, how far? 110 away from 185K. So we're at 184.890. You guys can't see the exact number. I have to look at it on my screen. So it's 184.890 is the exact subscriber count. So definitely um, subscribe if you're new. really nice at night with the lights. It is. I can't wait to see it again. I showed it Friday night, but I can't wait to show it again tonight. Is it a bad sign that we're communicating via chat? No, David, totally normal. <laughs> I, uh, Steph and I do that sometimes. Hey Angela, just got back from Scouts, very cool. Oh my goodness, cardboard box, that's hilarious. What's a wind turbine's favorite kind of music? They're a huge metal fan. They are a huge metal fan, that is true. That is accurate. Almost there, guys. We are sitting next to each other, yeah. That's okay. There it goes. Almost there. Hi. You've had 20,000 new subscribers since last year. So cool. Thanks, Tanita. Is that right? I didn't even know. That's pretty cool. Well, we're thankful for every single one of you. Thanks for the stream. Uh, can't wait to be back at Florida Wilderness for Halloween next year. Yeah, that's awesome, Russell. Always fun over there for sure. About to go in ninja mode to knock out this quiz. Awesome, Amy. Yeah, go for it. Of course, we can go in Grand Fiesta here in a little bit. Actually, we could do Soren after this because it's only 15 minutes. And they let us stream it now, which is cool. No problem with Soren anymore. They just let you do it, which is fun. They just say, hold on to all loose items. Yes, okay, no problem. <laughs> I can do that. I always put this on and it makes them feel better. It's on there. <laughs> I have a little wrist strap. I really saw Wish this afternoon. It was good. Really enjoyed it. If you see it, you must stay all the way through the credits. Somebody else said that too. Okay, I definitely will. Also, again, tomorrow night we will be live at Jollywood Nights, so don't miss that. We'll probably start at 6.30 or 7, somewhere around there, and go all the way to the end. Probably go till 1. Um, and also have a couple other awesome sponsors. We have Resort TV One Homes. And guys, there's going to be a new vlog on Resort TV One Homes' YouTube channel tomorrow. Steph has our um, Gaylord Palms Ice vlog going up tomorrow, starting at noon, I think. So yeah, so definitely um, subscribe over to the Resort TV One Homes channel. That's free to do even if you're not planning on moving. Definitely subscribe over to Resort TV One Homes on YouTube. But if you are thinking about moving, go to resorttvonehomes.com. Click on the contact button, put in your information, and somebody will get back to you. Even if you're going to move like in a year or two, you can still talk to somebody and they can give you some advice and things to start doing. The plan. <clears throat> and that's brokered by eXp Realty. Again, we're brokered by eXp Realty.
Uh, three. Thank you. Do you know what you're doing on Friday? Bill, actually, unfortunately, we're taking Friday off because uh, my brother's coming in from out of the country. Um, so we haven't seen him for a while, so we're taking Friday and Saturday off. But maybe, hopefully, we can see you on a different day. I don't know how long you guys are going to be here, but yes, Friday and Saturday we're not streaming, unfortunately. It's a work night. Yeah, Brad, no worries. I understand. But the good news is um, you guys can watch the replay. And uh, I actually took the day off. It was wonderful to be appreciated. Resort TV One is simply the place to be. I dare anyone to find another one. It's also hot chocolate season. Oh, thanks, Miami Coffee. Uh, we just appreciate you. We do as best we can. So the new Trolls movie. Oh, that's cool. The NSYNC song. Yeah, what about that? I, I would love to would love to learn more about that because I, I'm so excited that NSYNC had a new song. Oh my goodness, cardboard box. Colder in Orlando than, colder in Orlando than Phoenix. Yeah, probably. Yep, but we do have a brother. Yeah, we're not gonna be streaming on Friday. We'll make a video to make sure everybody knows because I know we always do, but we'll be back next Friday. Uh, Rex is going into sixth grade next year. We'll be trying out band. Teacher says he can pick an instrument out. Awesome, Angela. I'll be there for a week, but don't have park tickets except for the Christmas party on the seventh. Okay, Bill's, Bill. Um, we'll have to figure something out. Yeah, we're definitely uh, we're definitely around. We're just going to be busy this weekend. I'm really excited that our brother got to come down or over, I should say. Simply amazing. Happy to see you taking some time off. Thank you, Miami Coffee. Sad there's no stream this weekend, but happy you get to see your brother. Yeah, for sure, Joe. And, you know, uh, Parks will be here when we get back, and you guys will be here, and we'll all enjoy. And you guys can take the weekend and enjoy some uh, new videos on the channel. If he's a Universal Studios fan. <laughs> Thanks, Jesse. I appreciate it. Oh, Scott, I'm so sorry. First time watching you, and I subscribe, Dublin, Ohio. Hello, Steven. All right, three. What was that phone by the cast member? You probably, probably was here on the opening. Yep, Disney, Disney will be here, and uh, and you guys will be here. Hey Tracy, hey kitchen sink. Alright, so we should be, I guess I should ask for a different row, but that's alright. Still be able to see it. And we'll see if we can get through this with very little lag. But sometimes on this ride we do have to live with the lag. Oh yeah, yeah, he, li he likes Disney quite a bit. He just doesn't like to be um, on the stream or you know anything like that. So, yep. Yeah, it's nothing. nothing. Welcome to living with the land. As you board the boat, please lower your head and watch your step. For your safety, remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat at all times. Parents, please supervise your children and refrain from flash photography or using video lights until we reach the greenhouses. Thank you. Now, sit back, relax, and enjoy living with the land.
Por su seguridad, permanezca sentado con sus manos y brazos, pies y piernas dentro del barco y cuida a los pequeñitos. A manera de recordatorio, no tomar foto con flash y luz de video antes de llegar a Ninandero. surprising nature of living with the land. Our journey begins as dramatic and sudden changes are sweeping over the land. The approaching storm may seem violent and destructive to us, but to nature, it's a new beginning in the cycle of life. and minerals. These elements, when combined with sunlight, create the diverse living systems of our planet. Those living systems is the rainforest, home to the most amazing concentration of life on our planet. These dense and beautiful forests cover only a tiny portion of the Earth's surface, but they contain more than half of its plant and animal species. Rainforests are also extremely rich and productive living systems, providing us with oxygen, food, medicines, and other elements essential to our lives. beautiful living system. And while this arid landscape may seem lifeless, it is very much alive. The plants and animals that have learned to survive in these harsh conditions make use of what little water they can find and avoid the scorching rays of the relentless sun. once appeared as desolate as the desert, but over time, rainwater and nutrients gradually penetrated the hard surface of this land. Even the hooves of the mighty buffalo helped create the rich soil that would one day become home to the American farm. at work on the land, humans have had one of the most profound effects. 
The need to produce food for a growing world led to the enormous use and sometimes overuse of the land. In our search for more efficient ways to grow food, we often fail to realize the impact of our methods. Today, we're learning to live with the land, discovering better ways to grow food that will assure both human and environmental well-being. Welcome to our glimmering greenhouses, where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture illuminate the wondrous gifts we receive from the land. Join us as we ring in the most bountiful time of the year. For some, it's difficult to imagine the holidays without winter and snow, but one of the most important holiday crops actually grows in the tropics. For centuries, farmers in Central America have cultivated cacao to make chocolate. In fact, cacao is chocolate's main ingredient. Today, people around the world are able to enjoy a variety of sweets and keep warm with a cup of hot cocoa, thanks to this tropical plant. think of holidays, you might not think of fish, but seafood is an essential part of many festive meals. In parts of southern Italy, family and friends gather once a year to celebrate La Vigilia, 
with a seven-course seafood dinner. Tilapia, bass, and shrimp, like the ones raised here, using our sustainable water systems, make up just some of the dishes served during this grand meal. Today, in the United States, the tradition is known as the Feast of the Seven Fishes. Citrus, like the oranges grown here, are common in Florida, but in Northern Europe, where fresh fruit is rare in winter, they're much harder to find, making them an extra special stocking stuffer. During Chinese New Year, these vibrant fruits are given as gifts of good fortune. They say it's better to give than to receive. And in this greenhouse, we're celebrating the holidays by giving back to the land using innovative farming techniques. By recycling water, we can give plants rich nutrients. By giving plants ladybugs, we're able to control pests and reduce the need for pesticides. And by growing ground plants vertically, we give them better protection from disease. With these gifts, our plants can grow an abundance of festive vegetables. This greenhouse alone grows a bountiful 15 tons of produce each year. When we give more, we receive more, making the most of the land's green gifts. Many of the plants you see here help spice up the holidays. The bark of cinnamon trees, like the one growing beside you, is used to make cinnamon sticks. Do you like eggnog? You can thank nutmeg for its signature taste. Other spices, like ginger and vanilla, add flavor to a variety of holiday cookies, cakes, and other delights. By cultivating these festive plants with care and good cheer, Epcot scientists are able to celebrate the holidays with the land's many gifts.
These greenhouses represent just a fraction of the work being done worldwide to produce bountiful harvests for our growing population. Scientists, farmers, and even backyard gardeners are doing their part to improve the quantity and quality of foods that we all rely upon. Together, we can continue to find more ways to increase food production and protect our precious natural environment. Only then will we truly be living with the land. On behalf of Walt Disney World, we hope you've enjoyed this unique journey through our living laboratories. If you'd like a closer look, then check out the Behind the Seeds walking tour. It's a chance for the whole family to get up close and personal with the plants and growing techniques in our laboratories. Please keep your hands and feet inside the boat and remain seated until the boat comes to a complete stop. Please gather all your personal belongings, lower your head, and watch your step as you exit. All right. Well, there you go, guys. A lagless ride on the land. Always good. Okay. At least it showed lagless on my end. I don't know for sure. We might have, we might have gotten it. We might not have. Hi. How are you? Can you say hi? Yeah, for sure. Uh, we, I, I love you for doing this and oh, staying you. true to yourself. Oh, for sure. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, can I say hi? Real quick? Yeah, for sure. I'd like to say hi to my daughter Rachel, my son-in-law Brandon, and my granddaughter Atlas. Hi, guys. And what are your names? Kurt and Dottie. Nice to meet you both. And where are you from? New Jersey, okay. Yes. Yep. I, uh, we have David in the chat who's from New Jersey, and he said that they had uh, snow flurries today. <laughs> well, so it's not super warm here, but it's a little warmer. It's supposed to warm up again. Yes. Yeah, if you're here till Thursday and Friday, I think Friday it's supposed to be like 80. Yes. Friday Okay. Well, that's the nice thing about Florida is it never stays cold very long. <laughs> it's nice to meet you guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. Oh, okay. Okay, no worries. I, I was going to ask if you wanted to. I'm about to make the trip around the lagoon, so I didn't know if you wanted to go all the way with me that way or not, so that's fine. We're going to pass. Okay, no worries. Well, thank you for joining me for a little while. Oh, yeah. Makes sense. I told him the boat was leaving. Did that boat seem like it was leaving? You know, I didn't notice. It might have been. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't as noticeable on my side. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, yeah, see you next time. Well, Bye. Bye, guys. Yep. See you guys. Awesome. Enjoy the rest of your yes. staycation. Yes, we will. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, you know what? I think I may go ride Soren real quick. We'll see you guys a little later. Yeah. You. Hi. How are you? I was the one saying I was going to stop you. Oh, you found me. Yes. You got the stitchy shirt on. Do you want to say hi on the stream? Um, sure. Awesome. Hello. What are your hi. names? Uh, well, on here, I'm Sherry Berry. And okay. Told tomorrow that we're going to or Mara that we're gonna go to Mara after this. Ah, nice. So we're gonna eat at 
your restaurant. So, pretty cool. Oh, oh my uh, gosh. This is awesome meeting you. You too. Um, okay, so if you could only uh, play one console for the rest of your life, like not one of those cheater consoles with a whole No, 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 I understand the assignment. Because yeah. uh, we're also nerds when it comes to the I, technology. I think people are probably going to be okay with this choice. It would be very difficult, but I'd pick the SNES probably. Really? Good. I would almost, I almost have picked the regular NES, but I would really miss Mario Kart and some of those other games. And I feel like the SNES is a good compromise. It's got Mario World on it. It's got the SNES. It's got uh, Mario Kart. It's got lots of great games on it. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I think that's probably the best compromise if you had to pick one. And I'm all retro. It's funny. My students are all like. Mr. Jones, you play Fortnite, League of Legends, whatever? I'm like, no. I don't like shooting at people. <laughs> no, me neither. I'm literally a Nintendo girl. Yeah. So, like, yeah. whenever Chris yeah. is like, hey, we're going to pick this up, and I'm like, is it on Nintendo? No. Oh. <laughs> so that's, that's kind of funny. So that's definitely my choice, too. I'm yep. big into the role-playing games. Yeah. Um, oh, and one I forgot, Link to the Past. That's a, that's a great game. The best Zelda <laughs> game ever. 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 Yeah. 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 Huge Zelda fan. <laughs> I love that. For that reason, because he's very adventurous, but he's also kind of dumb, so... You know, there's probably we could probably find lots of different characters. <laughs> right? I don't know. Maybe Kirby? <laughs> I don't know, right? Yeah. Well, he does eat everything, too. There so you go. See? Kirby. Really <laughs> yeah, that fits all that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, time, no, it's so. great to meet you. Always great oh, to meet fellow yeah. gamers, too. By the way, if you get a chance, uh, uh, when you get back from your trip, when you have some time tonight, I'm going to be premiering a video... Uh, on the retro channel um, from uh, it's a computer museum in Maryland called System Source. So it shows it's got consoles. There's all kinds of stuff in there, but consoles, old you know mainframes, all the way to uh, some of the modern stuff. So it's pretty neat. It's a neat. I, I wasn't there, but one of our uh, friends Dan sent me the footage from it. So it's pretty fun. We still have to watch uh, the video about free play too. That was so. awesome. Uh, totally worth the cost of admission. Like literally, just an entire room full of games, and you just can play as much as you want. And then they, like, I walked up to a booth and they had Nintendo Powers that were in really, like, you know, almost looked like they'd never been opened. Oh, my God. And so I bought, I mean, I think that mine had, it had a very small crease. And I, I was like, 20 bucks, yeah. I was like, because I used to have a whole tub of them and I got rid of them, of course. You know, that the very first episode, or the very first issue selling for, like, 500 bucks on eBay? Like, I had that, like, three times. I had, like, three of those. Did you used to subscribe to Nintendo Power when you were a kid? Yeah, I did. And Nintendo I had, Power and uh, Game Informer. I had a magazine. And it's got um, Willem on the front, right? And I think on the inside is an ad for Nintendo Power. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty yeah. sure. And I, I looked at the, the card inside the thing when I got the magazine. $15 a year yep. was the subscription fee. I'm like, man, that's so cheap. <laughs> wow. Actually, anyway. the games have not really changed that much. Not as much as you might think. They've been up at the $50 range ever since they were SNES games and everything else. So, yeah. Yeah, because I remember having to do a lot of babysitting. <laughs> at like a dollar an hour to get $50 for, um, for Super Mario Bros. 3. Yeah. Yeah. So they haven't changed. Now, some of the newer AAA stuff is like 70 bucks now. Yeah. They finally started to inflate a little bit, but anyway. We just got the new Star Wars, too. So oh. We're going to play that when we get home. That's cool. I'm, Mom Mom just got, and Jenna just got the Harry Potter, the one for Switch. Because they don't have like, I have a PC, so I could have gotten it for Steam, but they don't have, like, a gaming PC, so they had to wait for it on Switch, but, yeah, oh, no. still. I would have preferred it on the Switch. What did we get it on? We have it on PC and Xbox. Yeah. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> we have it on PC and Xbox. Oh. It was on a oh. very deep discount sale on Steam. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There you go. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, he's just got in trouble, guys. All right, I'm going to go now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's nice to meet you guys. <laughs> Bye. All right, guys. I do want to thank our new members. Um, Wolf and Vans, a bronze member, and Troy McDonald, a silver member. Thank you so much for that. And, and Mara, thank you for posting it. I, I uh, kept your message up for because uh, I knew I saw that because I couldn't remember what their names were. So, um, so thank you so much for reposting it. And thank you, Wolf and Vans, Wolf and Vans, and Troy for becoming a member. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, here we go. Hey, Steph. All right, so I saw Steph here too. She has a premiere tomorrow of our ice vlog at Gaylord Palms. I told him earlier, I'll tell him again, we have a premiere from our ice vlog at Gaylord Palms. So we got to go see Charlie Brown Christmas. It was amazing. Um, so definitely go check that out tomorrow at noon on Resort TV One Homes. All right, let me see if I can get to the bottom of the chat here. 
Yeah, super fun. We love ice, don't we, Steph? All right, I have to pause the stream for just a second to switch connections. It's going to take about 10 seconds. I'm not going to be RB. Intentional lag coming right up. Cardboard box of credits on a new game, yeah, for sure. Yeah, so Steph loves ice, it's super fun, and she does miss the cold weather up north, but you can enjoy that through ice. So if you're ever down here during the holidays, definitely go check that out. Gaylor Palms Ice. Wow, there is not a long line for this. So we're gonna head through here, and then head up to, um, probably head around World Showcase and maybe see if we can catch a little bit of candlelight just from the back. Poor Liam had so many layers on. Yeah, he's a Florida boy. He definitely got cold. Well, at least we get to smell pine trees in this. And there's also a desert, so that makes us feel warm. I guess this is Apollo 13. I love that so much. Hey, David. Oh, really, Steph? Is it all the Gaylord Resorts? I didn't know that. Well, there you go. I learned something new today. So if you don't know Resort TV One Homes, of course, again, go subscribe to that channel. All you have to do is tap on it, and I think you can go right over to it. Do they still have the go to channel thing? Just tap on it and go over there and subscribe. And Steph, I think I told you this, but they have the old version, original version of Soren back, California, so you would you would like it. Finally cold enough here for a hot latte. Is this Field of Dreams? Yeah, I believe it is. Yeah, such a beautiful score. I'll tell you what, um, I was working, I was sitting at my desk working yesterday and uh, in our performing arts building, the fine arts building that I work in, um, they have soundtrack, an area music loop that plays through the building, which is super cool to me, but on Mondays it's musicals and um, it was rough because they put on, um, what do you call it, what was the thing, oh, they put on uh, Bring Him Home from Les Mis and I was like, oh man, <laughs> now I'm going to be all emotional. <laughs> Such a beautiful song. Uh, it looks like we might be in B3, so that's all right. I'm happy to ride the... We're just going to ride it wherever. We're going to ride it wherever. Can be my next party? One? Give me just one quick second. Sure. Make sure I don't have a count tonight. <laughs> At least we're in the middle. And it was like a walk-on. The DCA store when they have the theme to Patton that plays in the queue. Yeah, it's a little bit different there. Oh, sorry, Amy. You had a problem with your quiz. I'm sure your professor will allow you to correct it. As my icon and my name go my favorite... SNS game is Mega Man X. Yes, I have that one. I actually have some pretty, I have some more rare SNES games that are worth a lot of money now. Uh, we have I, The one I have that's probably worth the most is Super Mario RPG. You can't get that one for less than $100 on eBay, I don't think. At least a working copy. Yeah, Kathleen. Beautiful. Would love to see a home vlog with you, Steph and Liam, where you go around town or even a vlog at home. Oh, Judy, for sure. Although I don't know, our house is, is uh, beautiful, we're very lucky, but it's also a little cluttery, so I don't know if everybody needs to see that or not. We do like our stuff. The parcel to Apollo 11 is my father worked on that project. That is, wow. That's right, David, I remember you saying that. He designed the breathing unit, which allowed the astronauts to walk on the moon. I watched a really good video today um, about the moon landing and all the things, and uh, kind of just went through all the again not to get controversial but it went through all the conspiracy theories about it and just de debunked all of them one at a time and really talked about how incredible it was that uh, we were able to get to the moon hello welcome to story my name is patrick and i'll be your chief flight attendant today we'll begin boarding in a few minutes but first i'd like to acquaint you with some important safety information 
the doors here are wide open. Please take a seat and store all carry on items that you have to see. This is a glue, camera, and purses, hats, and of course, these little dudes. Next, fasten your seat belts and insert them into the buckle of the plate. The small aviators don't measure up to the height of the theater of the seat. Just put the belt in the loop in the center strap before buckling. That's what it's about. Soon you will be airborne. So if you or your little aviators have a fear of flying or pipes, you might want to wait for your party if you like. Okay, let's review. Sit, seat belt, carry on, and safety strap, fear of heights, keep your hands and arms inside at all times. After a turn, start boarding with row three, followed by two, then one, fall beyond that last person each row. I almost don't need the sweatshirt in here, it's actually pretty warm. But it takes too long to take it off. Hang on here for just one second. Please. Sure, sure. All right, guys, ooh, let me unzoom, I'm sorry. There we go. All righty, head all the way down for me. Seatbelts left to right. Let's see if I can get them back the seat. Don't let me put my bag, please. <laughs> Friends, <laughs> I would appreciate that. All right, here we go. Go. All right, enjoy the ride, guys. Oh, Liam's making his Transformer collection of Brad's and tape. That's amazing. Oh, he needed something to make the uh, he needed something to make the joints with. Somebody bought him a an entire crafting kit for Christmas, complete with all kinds of pipe cleaners and stuff. Thanks, Dan. Dan says, did I get buckled? Nice work, pal. Thanks. Nah, he's super creative and he's having a great time. Yeah, we, uh, we got on really fast. I'm glad we did it. It's super worth it when you can get on here in like five minutes. <laughs> What's that? I just want to be you all the time. No. Oh, okay. No. I just want to enjoy. No, for sure. I hate when people talk during rides. That's on the yellow strap. We don't like you. Thank you. Thank you. Any loose articles, please hang on tight to those. Your loose shoes can stay on the ground. Row two, grab that yellow strap on your right hand side and tug on it for me. The yellow strap on your right. Yeah, there's nobody over there in that row. Oh, that's true, this stuff, that's true. <laughs> hey, slow. All right, friends. We're about to go. Enjoy.
Super awesome. Yeah, I love that version of the ride way better than the other one. So good. So good, so good, so good. Hey, here we go. All right. <laughs> Always somebody asks me if I'm going to talk the whole ride, and then always like the rest of their group talks more than I do. So funny. Uh, okay. Like, nope, I only talk in the parts when it's polite to talk, which is before the ride. All right. I'm glad the signal works well on there, and that was a super quick ride through there. Oh my goodness, what a great one. Yeah, Corporate Box, I agree about this footage. Like, it needs to be real footage. Like, they need to redo Soaring Over the, Around the World. There's so many beautiful places in the world, it does not need to be um, edited footage. Like, just get us some real pretty footage. And, I don't know. It's a great concept. I like it. But, yeah, I mean, just get us real stuff. Run for it, Marty. <laughs> Oh no, just the lady asked if I was going to be talking the whole time. And I was like, nope, I hate it when people talk on rides. Simple as that. Oh, thanks, Dan. I appreciate it. No, I seriously. And if anybody else is talking on a ride, I can't stand. If any other streamer is like talking on a ride, I, I literally have to turn it off. I can't handle it. So, hello. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, that's awesome. I appreciate that. Thank you for doing this, what you're doing. Oh, my pleasure. You guys want to say hi on the stream? Sure. Hi. Hi. Oh, thank you. We enjoyed uh, enjoyed some time in Soar in there, which was super fun. Yes. We wrote it earlier today. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, we it was almost a walk-on, so that was cool. That's awesome. Super fun. <laughs> so... Is he with you guys? Are you with? Are you, are you with them? Okay, good. I didn't know. I was like, okay, I didn't know. Okay, cool. Awesome. You too. Awesome. Where are you guys from? Pensacola. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, the Guardians one. Very cool. Yeah. Awesome. I'm going to go walk around the world and see if I can do it without getting too cold. We'll see. <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, it's nice to meet you all. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your trip. <laughs> Bye. Bye. All right. I remember riding Soar on the first time that one. And I was literally blown away. Like, it was a, I just, I don't know. It was one of those, like, how do you say it? It was like one of those mountaintop experiences, you know what I mean? One of those things that you just never forget. When you just hit that, what is it they call it in Maslow's hierarchy? When you hit the, 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 the top of the pyramid? Like, that's what it was, man. And there's been so many of those moments at Disney, and I think that's why a lot of us like it. When you hit that, that moment, what is it, self-actualization? or I don't know, whatever. You, you know what it is, the top of the pyramid. <laughs> I don't remember what it's called. I'm just I'm just doing good that I remember Maslow. Uh, thanks, Darth Moyer. But yeah, I I don't and, and most of my friends who stream they don't you know they don't talk on rides, but I just I have to be quiet on them. And sometimes you'll hear me talk on People Mover or, or you know the Speedway or some you know some of those that are not really quiet rides. Like nobody's like, oh my gosh, I was so relaxed on the Speedway. I, I was so upset you talked on the Speedway when the cars were super loud, right? So that one probably doesn't matter. Um, but I do try, and Buzz Lightyear is another one that sometimes we'll talk on, but usually the rest of them are quiet. Maslow hierarchy, self-actualization, that's the one. See, I had it. All right, I am going to pull over out here and make sure my, I have something covering my ears just because I'm, I want to make sure I'm well for tomorrow. Would love to run into Dustin and Jenna. We'd have definitely said hi, especially if mom and dad were there. Oh yeah, for sure. Your mom and dad were here too? Very cool.
we, we learned so many of those things, the Maslow and all that kind of stuff. We learned so much of that in school that I'm actually surprised that I got it right. Yes, we're all going to watch fireworks tonight, and then right after that, we're going to premiere a new video on Retro TV One Tech, my other channel. Also, while I'm getting my while I'm getting my coat out, um, I do want to do a shout out to um, our next sponsor, which is David's DBC Rentals, DBCRequest.com/tv. If you want to rent a room for a fraction of the cost, just check out David's DBC Rentals, DBCRequest.com/tv, and that's DBCRequest.com/tv. Tell them Resort TV One sent you and enjoy. Um, hi, <laughs> how are you guys? <laughs> Good. And enjoy a um, enjoy a stay in a DVC room for a fraction of the cost. It says Davis DVC DVC Rentals DVC Request dot com slash TV. Also, um, we have um, one of our newer sponsors, Wait Time Signs. Hi, how are you? Good. Oh, yeah, it's all good. Oh yeah. Well, thank you. What's your name? Rachel. Nice to meet you, Rachel. Great to see you. Have a wonderful holiday. Oh, you too. <laughs> Take care. Bye. So yeah, we had. Um, we also have wait time signs, and if you would like, if you're ever like checking wait times on your, um, you know, on your app to see what the wait times are in the parks when you're not here, definitely want to check out wait time signs. Because um, they're very affordable and you can get 15% off if you want to do that So um, Let me see if I can find this um, Yeah, so anyway wait time signs check it out You can get a wait time sign just like this and it tells you what all the wait times are in the parks and again That's magicbandreaders.com slash wait magicbandreaders.com slash wait use code resort 15 for 15% 15, uh, off of your purchase Again use code resort 15 for 15% 15 off of your purchase magicbandreaders.com slash wait you can also get a magic band reader uh, on that same website just go to magicbandreaders.com and again use code resort15 for 15% off cool alright so we were just there the security guards and cats were wearing parkas and gloves it was 60 and cloudy yeah um, you know I think security when they're here they kind of get battered by the wind and stuff and I think it is important that they stay kind of bundled up but 60 here you know is like it's like cool a lot of times cooler um i wouldn't say it's cold right now but it's definitely like kind of chilly especially when you're used to 80 degrees all the time so there's that part of it you have to use the word we tell him that sometimes you have to use your words does it always have the correct wait time it does it has to yes it has to connect to wi-fi What's your favorite smell on Soren? Oh, this, no, this, that's a, you said asking politely, that's a polite question. Um, the oranges, for sure. 100% the oranges. And apparently, from what I understand, the orange smell on Soren is the same as um, the one on, the, on Horizons. Agree with you about Soren. Soren over Cali is one of those rides that is a wow ride the first time you go on. I was lucky and I got to ride it on opening day at California Adventure. Wow, Robert, that's awesome. And the, yeah, I, the other ones. The evergreen smell is really good too. That's probably my second favorite. <laughs> All right. Uh, yes, Karen, 13 degrees is cold too, for sure. Um, like I said, I grew up in the Midwest, so I do know what that feels like. But in Florida, it's just different. The weather is, uh, you know, it's kind of relative too, because when it gets below 40, it's like not pleasant no matter what, right? So it doesn't matter if it's 40 or 12. You're not going to be hanging out outside. So, yeah, that's the bottom line. I had that moment at Rise, absolutely gobsmacked. Yes, when you walk in the hangar for the first time at Rise. Crazy, crazy, crazy moment. Shoe brand. Right now I'm wearing Vessies. Hashtag not a sponsor. Um, <clears throat> but the Vessies are really, really cool because they're waterproof. They're also pretty warm. So, that's fun. We had our baby twins there again. We need to wait around and have you babysit. We have a pass and can make it happen. Oh, that's funny. Hey, Christopher Black. Sorry, I've seen you in here, but I haven't been able to say hi yet. All right. I'll have to plug in here in a little bit, but it's so nice and cool outside that you really, it's going to, uh, <laughs> it's going to be super quick charging. 
the phone likes it when it's nice and cool. Hope you have a great week. Have to be at work at 3 a.m. Okay, no worries. Here, I'm gonna go this way and I'm gonna try and get to candlelight before it's over so we can see a little bit of the end of it. Speaking of which, oh my goodness. There's the shot right there. Love that it's got the Christmas colors on it. Every time they're having the Christmas party, it does that. All right. Well, I'm feeling better. Actually, being out in the brisk air kind of wakes me up. I was, I don't know, I was just groggy today and I was sitting at my desk and I just couldn't like get started and be productive and I needed to be. <laughs> my brain was really having trouble focusing today. <clears throat> So when that happens, I usually, I don't fight it. I usually get up and walk around. I'll get up and go visit somebody's classroom or go help somebody else with something or just do a little stroll. Today was not a nice day for a stroll around the campus, but still. All right. And we will ride Grand Fiesta. I just want to uh, go see Candlelight first because uh, it's over <clears throat> at nine, then we'll have a little extra time before fireworks. So that's the plan. Construction walls in Epcot, you hardly ever see that, said everyone before in 2019. Yeah, for sure. No, and actually what's interesting is, I hope a lot of these are down here by the end of the year. That's what I've heard, we'll see. I became my seven-year-old self in the hangar at Rise. Oh, for sure, David, isn't it cool when that, <clears throat> you know, I know they used to talk a lot in the 80s about inner child and stuff, but really, <clears throat> it's a real thing. And uh, when that inner child gets to come out, it's so special, you know. That's me, like, when I, when I got that Tandy computer and I turned it on, all of a sudden I was 10 again, or 9, or however old I was when we got it. And all of a sudden I was 9 years old again. It's so fun. Same with the old video games, same thing. It like just turns me into a nine-year-old again. And, and Disney does that for me too, you know? So, <clears throat> I mean, I think people, people Mover would do it even more than anything else, but. AJ's really curious about what's happening behind, yeah, in the walls we just saw there. I, I don't know, AJ, that's a good question. Because <clears throat> that's not part of the refurb, the uh, big refurb, I don't think. Maybe somebody in the chat knows. Dreamers Point will be open next Tuesday. That's right, Theo. <clears throat> According to Disney blogs that are very reliable, yes. <laughs> you got to find the reliable ones for sure. Kind of funny for G and Is to watch my face in that moment. They couldn't believe how quiet I was. Yeah, that's cool. That's like me, David. I don't get quiet very often either. <clears throat> Maple popcorn smells amazing. The dry, crisp air, I don't know dry, but the, 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 the colder air anyway, is definitely uh, carrying the smells stronger today. I feel like the signal was better too. That was <clears throat> one of the first times for a while we've gotten through living with the lamb with no lag. So that was fun. That's how to travel on your pants' shoulders for sure. Good night for cheddar cheese soup, for sure. <clears throat> I was going to schedule events like Eat to the Beat. Have you ever run into uh, celebrities walking around the parks? You know, sometimes people in the chat notice it before I do because I'm so focused on just like, I don't really look people in the face that much when I'm walking. I'm just like trying to avoid running into them while I'm reading chat and then I'm looking, I'm focused more on the chat. So I don't notice a lot of times. By the way, this, the building's not open back here, just the restrooms on it because the UK restrooms are closed. Just a little news update there. Not that that's new, but cold air definitely carries the smells better. I drive past a paper mill on the way to work. The smell is so much more intense when it's cold. Yeah, for sure. I wonder if it's because the air molecule is literally moving slower, which means that maybe more, more molecules can exist inside that. I don't know. Hashtag science. Uh, does such a great job at making Epcot look so amazing. Thank you. 
Commodore 64, great system. I upgraded to Amiga 500, which is my all-time favorite. That's awesome, John. I have both of those. And I'm very excited. I need to get my Amiga out and make sure it's still okay. Given to me by our awesome Hopper, Jody. And I haven't had time to uh, do much with it yet. But it is very safely in its box in a very safe place. Hello from Northwest England. It's a cold 30 degrees F. Yes. <laughs> we're, not, we're not that much warmer. We're like 20 degrees warmer. Which usually we would be like 50 degrees warmer. <laughs> yes, please use Ireland, France, or Belgium. That's right. <laughs> oh, sleigh ride. Played this song so many times. It's such a good arrangement. Conducted it, too. I have done a VIP tour. Yeah, I did. Well, we did one not too long ago. We were able to go with some friends. And it was super fun. Not something I would ever probably be able to afford, but it was nice to go as a gift. Yeah, definitely if you're, if you're of the means to be able to afford that, it is worth it. The time does go really quick though, fair warning. That time always goes quick at Disney. Matthew Kent, thanks for being a bronze member for a month. Happy to be a great supporter for one month and we'll continue to do so. Thank you, Matthew. Appreciate you, buddy. Oh, Jesse, you're very wise. <laughs> it's such a great song. There's a birthday party at the home of Margaret. It'll be the perfect ending of a perfect day. <laughs> I knew the song pretty well because like I said, having conducted it, you got to know all the ins and outs to teach it to the kids. Like a lot of people probably don't hear the percussion there. Triple it. A little triple it in the uh, temple blocks there that is fun for the kids. Diddle it, snap. <laughs> triple it two, snap on three. Technically it's cut time. Anyway, whatever. You guys don't need a whole music lesson today. It is cut time if you didn't know. Like, But sometimes we'll run it in 4-4 just to kind of get the kids used to it. Music people know what I'm talking about. Oh, I missed the Go Big Christmas part back there. The low brass in the end of that have like bomb, 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 ba da, which is like the Go Big, you know, whatever school color you are. Anyway, sorry, I'll be quiet. <laughs> I know, right? I like Christmas songs. Can't help it. What's coming up next on Retro TV One Tech tonight? I have a new video. It's a uh, awesome, some awesome footage of a computer history museum that my um, uh, awesome friend Dan, 2000 Daniel B in the chat filmed. He's on one of our awesome resort hoppers. You've seen him on the stream a couple times. Um, anyway, so he filmed this for me when he was up there in Maryland at this museum, and uh, it's really cool. So I did a voiceover narration of it and tried to point out as many of the awesome computers and hardware as I could. There's also like cell phones, uh, old Nokias and all that stuff. We just watched the Hannah Weddingham Christmas concert on Apple TV Plus. That's awesome, David. <laughs> Don't show out with your music skills. Well, you know, if I didn't have any skills, I'd, I'd feel like feel like all that schooling would have failed me, right? I haven't used my Apple TV Plus that much except for to watch Charlie Brown. <laughs> I think Steph uses it more than I do, but we got the Apple One plan, which has got all the things, you know, all the cloud and all that stuff. Cloud music. I use the music more than anything else because it's nice in the car. But my car's screen is broken, so that's not good. The LCD screen. Took it into the shop. They ordered a replacement. It's been six weeks. I don't have it yet. That's fun. Apparently there was a part strike or something. <laughs> That's funny. Don't sing too well. Boston Pops will hunt you down and copyright strike you personally. They probably would. So much stuff there. Uh, I'm sure it was hard to narrate it. Yeah, Dan, no, I actually, I ended up kind of taking a strategy of, I only narrated the stuff that I was, you know, super sure what it was and super interested in it. And uh, yeah, I think it turned out really well. And then there's some parts when I didn't know a lot of the stuff in the room. 
so I just um, put some music with it and just let it play. So I was like, hey, I don't know a lot of the stuff in this room, so if you do, leave a comment, let me know, and just enjoy watching it. I just figured there was no like reason for me to talk over it if I didn't know it. Your music discussions are so interesting. I'm glad that you speak so much on the Parks Musical Scores. Thanks, Melissa. I'm sure not everybody likes it, but I'm glad that you guys, some of you guys do. So I teach music. IB Music, guitar, jazz band. Severance is an awesome show, okay. Yes, Apple One is about to increase in price. I love it that there was no justification. It was just like, hey guys, it's going up. Heads up. <laughs> Usually companies will say, oh, we need more money to, you know, provide quality content. Apple's like, now nah, we don't, Apple's like, we need another billion dollars. We don't have enough billions. We need more of those. Did you watch the holiday special Sunday night with Chris Jansen's version of Holiday Road? No, I didn't, but I love, I love Holiday Road. Heard that in the car on the way here this morning, or on the way to school this morning. With some items that even being there, it was hard to figure out what they were. Okay, Dan. The one that almost caught me off guard, Dan, was the one, was by some of the Apple computers. And it's like Apple, Apple, and then what is this random, like, new-looking machine? And then I looked at it a little more closely, and it was one of those NXT computers that um, Steve Jobs founded, NXT computers, after he got let go from Apple. If you guys didn't know, Steve Jobs actually got fired from Apple for a few years, and then they brought him back, because he started another company that was pretty successful. Anyway, <laughs> they just do what they do. They sure do, Christopher. They sure do. All right, let's go watch some uh, candlelight. Oh, wow. That's so cool to walk up on that beautiful scene. Whew. The stars at the end of Silent Night. Okay. I might turn on the super zoom, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, Kimberly, thanks for being a member for a month. Let me see if I can find a spot here. It doesn't appear that there's any seats open. That's alright, I wasn't planning on sitting down anyway. Okay, I'm gonna be quiet. Enjoy, guys. Suddenly, there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, 
praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill towards all.
in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose in the east, and have come to worship him. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. Behold, the star that they had seen went before them until it came to rest over the place where the child was. And going into the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they fell down and worshipped him. Then, opening the treasures, they offered him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh.
when the wise men had come and gone, and the angels had flown off to spread the good news, a quiet settled over the stables in that little town, Bethlehem. Alone for the very first time, Mary and Joseph looked down at their beautiful baby, sleeping peacefully in a manger. All at once, the worry, the joy, the bewilderment, and the awe that they felt for this tiny child washed over them. And they felt the magnitude of what had just occurred and wondered what the future would bring for them. In the stillness of the evening, they watched as Jesus slept, listening for the soft sounds of his breath, for the rustle of hay in the night breeze, hearts swelling with the wonder of all who would become. inside each and every one of us. The greatest joy of being human is to love one another. And when we share that love, that is the greatest gift.
right, guys. We're gonna head out before the crowd, but that is so awesome. Glad I got to bring that to you again for a little bit. <clears throat> nice to watch that. I'm not gonna watch the last song. We'll come back and do it a little more formally, but uh, that was really good. Yeah, she was a legend. She's great. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. <laughs> Enjoy the candlelight procession? Yeah, I just watched it from the back a little bit. Yeah, so I did too. What's okay. your name? Tim. Nice to meet you, Tim. Yes. Can I say hi to my parents real quick? Of course. Hi, Mom and Dad. Hi, Mom and Dad. <laughs> I made it on, so you're welcome, I guess. You can rest <laughs> easy now. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> so just uh, here for a solo trip at the Epcot here? Yeah, I've been here the past couple days. They said it was going to be warmer, though, because I like checked the weather last week. It's like... 65. Oh, great. Shorts show up. It's 55 degrees. No, it, yeah. Florida <laughs> weather you, in the in the winter slash fall, you had to be prepared for anything. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Well, I've learned my lesson. So. <laughs> well, it's nice yes. to meet you. Yes, you as well. <laughs> yes, hope you have a great night. You too. Thanks for watching. Yes, of course. <laughs> What's up? Are we live? We are. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's go, brother. <laughs> What's she saying? Oh, I missed it. Before you go, we'd like to leave you this evening with one wine. Her voice is so good. So good. Okay. Sorry, I have to. The holiday season means something different for everyone. Across languages and customs, Can't walk away from it now. we all have traditions that we hold dear. We pass them down and share them with one another at every opportunity. Because ultimately, the message at the heart of all our celebrations is a simple one that stands the test of time. Peace on earth. Good world to all. are so lucky that we get to see that so often that is you know it's a world-class performance and you're just kind of walking down the street and there's a world-class performance there's you know one of the most famous actresses ever it's just you know <laughs> just a normal day at Epcot man wow She's like lost for words. That's amazing. Thank you. And since I was born in Sweden, in Stockholm, I would say, that is that Anna. Udu, Okotor, which means Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. From me to all you guys. Wow. Wow, man. <laughs> <clears throat> I want to thank you all. Oh man, from the bottom of my heart. Have a wonderful holiday season. A merry, merry Christmas to all of you. To everyone here, okay? And then 
this says for me to exit. Okay. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Okay, now after listening to her, I know exactly who she is. Wow, that's just, that's incredible. Okay. My goodness. That was a neat moment. <laughs> and now it says for me to exit. I love it. So cute. To see somebody, wow. Is it, that, that should tell you right there. Like, sorry. It just, like, that was kind of emotional. Like, that should tell you right there, like, how, the power of that show. Like, here you've got this world-class performer that has however many awards, you know, Grammys and all the things, and she's overcome by the show. That should tell you something about the power of that show. Like, seriously, it just makes you stop and think. Like, she was overcome by the show. And, and, and she's seen and done everything. So, I think that speaks for itself. I don't, I, you know, but you don't usually see the... You don't usually see the... Um, You don't usually see the, the performers, the actors, get overwhelmed by the show. And I'm just so glad to see somebody, you know, like her, you know, just allow herself to be lost in the music. That was so cool. I'm so glad I stayed. And David says, I suppose, that again, people take completely for granted the level of world-class professional musicians that are sprinkled throughout Walt Disney World. A hundred percent. hundred percent. Wow. Goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. <laughs> You guys are listening to all the things that she's done. That's crazy. It's crazy. I mean, I just didn't know her by name, but then when she, when I heard her talk more, I was like, I know exactly who she is. Like, you know what I mean? It was just one of those things. Is like, oh, of course, of course. Wow. And of course, you know, we've already seen the show, and I know some people didn't want us to stay, but like, I wanted to see it. So, you know, I, I wasn't trying to be rude, but like. If you don't want to watch something that we're showing, then you can turn the stream off and watch next time, and that's fine. But, you know, I don't want to feel like when I'm streaming something that I'm like, uh-oh, three people don't want to see the show, I better keep going. You know, I just, I feel like we have to be free to show what we want to show, so. As someone in the virtual audience, you get caught up in the emotion. I can only imagine what it must feel like to be in the center of all that music, yeah. I'll tell you what, I mean, I'm a sucker for, I'm a sucker for, for a band, obviously, as a band person. And, you know, and that brass sound. I don't know how well that comes through on the stream, but especially just that last phrase of the trumpets. I don't even think I can sing it, but it just, like, blows you away. Well, we'll stroll a little bit. We don't have to stand here for 10 minutes, but um, I could, I'm not going to make it to Grand Fiesta, obviously, because Epcot Forever is our objective tonight. It's one of the last times we're going to get to see it. So we're going to enjoy every bit of it. The finale part of the show was great. I hope to see you stream it again. I've seen it before via live stream. I want to see it again and again. Thanks, Stacy. I mean, wow. Yeah, just hearing that, the, the, the writing on those, I know the piece on Earth is, is near dear to my heart anyway because of with the Illuminations finale that they used to have, but just that tag ending and the brass and the whole thing swells and then she gets overwhelmed and like, yeah, I'm wiping tears, man. It's the way it is. Oh, for sure, Carbo Box, yeah. You've seen two narrators now become very moved by the concert. Yes. Yeah, exactly. They both did so well. They really, they really did. They both were overwhelmed by the show. It is a powerful show. It really is. It's just very powerful. Huh. 
That's right, Darth Moyer, exactly. No matter your beliefs, a brilliant performance is a brilliant performance. Exactly. And, you know, hopefully those of you who, you know, don't celebrate Christmas or, you know, are not Christian, like, you can still enjoy the musical uh, aspect and the performance part of it. Absolutely. I'm sure she was sitting there surrounded by all the singers and orchestra. It would be powerful. It, it is. I, I can tell you, I've never stood on the stage, but I've stood up. I've sat up in the front row. And it is overwhelming. It's really overwhelming. In a good way. In the best possible way. Yes, you're getting a West Coast Candlelight Sunday night. So Jen and I won't be live Friday and Saturday because our brother's in town. But Sunday night, you are getting a candlelight processional at Disneyland. And, and, and that show is amazing. Disneyland is not from this world. It's, it's so totally out of this world. Music is a universal language, that's right, for sure. Oh, 100% will be streaming on New Year's Eve. I have my towel ready and I'm so glad. Anne's voice just pull, pulls you in the music and the choir pull you in too. So, yes, and somebody said this, I was reading earlier in the chat. Somebody was talking about how you hear her voice and it really does just pull you in. It makes you want to listen. She's soft-spoken, but it's a good soft-spoken. I mean, like, literally, it's kind of like James Earl Jones. I could listen to her read me the phone book, and it would be fine, and I would be interested. It's that good. John Stamos. Yeah, John, John always does great, of course. Great audio, very special show. Thanks. Countdown is on. Thanks for all your streams, letting us see the parks through your eyes, and the great sponsors that help us make our vacation happen. Thanks, Troy. Oh, that's awesome, Jason. Says, someone who's not Christian, I'll be moved by the Christmas season. It's my favorite. Absolutely. And we want to make it very clear that everybody is welcome here. Always. And, you know, so we do show that show. And we show some other things in here and there. But, yeah, it's not, um, you know, we're not, you know, Jen and I are, and our parents are a Christian. But we're not, you know, we're not trying to advocate or, you know, promote any religion. We're just showing that show because it's absolutely incredible and we enjoy it. And that, my friends, is a smiley face. <laughs> Sorry. I'm saying something serious and then there's a smiley face. Oh, for sure, David. Absolutely. Very moving. I'd never noticed that before. Yep, it's a smiley face. It isn't very busy. Uh, Epcot closes at 930, but it's, it's just because it's very chilly. So a lot of the locals are out of here. Hold on just a second, friends. Let's see what the temperature is. Uh, 49. 49 feels like 47. You know, that's chilly for Florida. I can feel old Jack Frost starting to nip. Something happened. Thank you so much, Jason. I appreciate it. It's a hidden smiley. Okay. Let's go claim our spot. So, after the stream, we're going to have a premiere, guys. We're going to premiere our... Um, and yeah, we're going to premiere our um, show. What was I going to say? Oh, we're going to premiere my vlog on Retro TV One Tech, my second channel. So go ahead and go over to Retro TV One Tech, subscribe over there, and also be ready for the awesome show. Here comes the orchestra out. Be ready um, for the vlog. It's going to be super fun. So right after uh, Epcot Forever at 10 o'clock, actually, go be ready to enjoy the um the vlog it's about system source it's a computer museum love how you're so random it makes me smile thanks amy <laughs> it's who i am i'm very random i am who i am 47 is freezing in florida yes uh, david that's amazing you got to perform on it hey blue nose Oh, this is so fun. It's a new track on here. I see a rather large smiling face at uh, me every day in the Las Vegas on the sphere. I want to go see that. That's so cool. I saw a video of it, like a YouTube short of it, of it, like smiling as a pumpkin and then winking at everybody as it went by or something. As like the people went by on a plane or something. I don't know. I got a, it's a pretty cool, that sphere thing is neat. I'm random too, and I love this. That's why I love this channel. That's awesome, Amy. Uh, Harry at Soul Media became a bronze member. Thank you so much, Harry, for becoming a bronze member. And thank you, Inmara, for posting that. Appreciate it. It's a samba. Thank you. Hey, how's it going, CM? Missed the processional. Yeah, go ahead, please, and, and rewind. It was amazing. 
and I feel bad for not knowing who um, who Ann Margaret was, but I just didn't know her by name. I knew her by voice, though, for sure. Welcome, Steve, and we invite you to enjoy Epcot Forever, a spectacular celebration of everything Epcot. Yeah. Hey, the Becky. David T. just shared Chris uh, Jansen's performance. Nice. Thank you so much for doing that. I'm going to plug in my battery here real quick. Yeah, this is recorded music right now. That would be cool if it was live, but yeah. That would be difficult to do, not impossible. They definitely did that during uh, Home Running Live. They had live music and they piped it through the whole park. All right, guys. I am super excited to watch Epcot Forever. I'm going to miss it, but we're going to watch it. We're going to enjoy it, and we are going to... Uh, just really um, enjoy this. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. Of course. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Stay warm. <laughs> yeah, stay tuned, guys. Right after fireworks, we're going to have a premiere. In about uh, two minutes, everybody, two minutes. Last Tranquil Tuesday with Epcot Forever. Yes, last one. And we're going to enjoy it no matter what. That's right, Epcot Forever uh, goes until Monday. <laughs> A sunflower. I do have a coat and I do have earmuffs on. Because it's a little breezy by the lake here, so it's a little cooler. Oh, yeah, see him? Oh, you, you said illuminations. You're talking about illuminous, but it'll still be cool to see that. To be their opening night. Hey, Ticker Tail John. It is pretty chilly. Yep, not horrible, just a little chilly. Awesome, Ben. I'll oh, see. Here's the last song. That means that it's still going to be about two or three minutes away. So they do have it timed about two or three minutes past uh, 9:30. Now, yeah, 10 o'clock. We're going to have premiere of Epcot Forever. No, <laughs> on our uh, retro channel, Retro TV One Tech. Go check it out. So. I stayed up really late last night making it, and I'm proud of the narration, so I hope you'll watch it. Oh, yeah, thank you for posting that, Amar. I appreciate it. It is a good shot of Space at Birth, isn't it? Yeah, Computer Museum is really cool. You guys are going to love it. Theo, yes, I will I will move the premiere back a couple minutes. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, um, Monday we will watch Epcot Forever. But um, this will be the last Tranquil Tuesday with it on. Until they bring it back. I'm sure they will bring it back. Anyway, thank you for being here, guys. And again, thanks for staying with me through the candlelight. Like I said, it's, you know, I'm just, I'm a music guy. I'm going to be drawn in my music. That's just how it is. So, you know, if that means people tune out, that's fine. But I, I'm sorry, <laughs> my gimbal went astray. But I definitely will keep watching music and enjoying it. So I hope you guys do too. Here we go. Enjoy.
such a great show. You did such a great job conducting the fireworks. I'm a band director, and I know. So, so you did a great job conducting. <laughs> Yeah. It's a, called Resort TV One. Yeah. So my day job is I'm a, a music teacher, but that yeah, this is uh, my YouTube channel. So yeah, Resort TV One. Yeah. You 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 look like you've done that before. <laughs> you want to be on the video if it's okay with your mom? Okay. So what was your name? Easton. Easton. Guys, Easton was conducting the show like a true professional. It was pretty cool. He was conducting all the fireworks, so thank you for doing that, because that's one of the last times we're going to get to see that show. It's going away in a couple days. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Have you seen it before? Yes, yeah, we have. Oh, oh, oh okay, that's the same. What's that? I, I literally work at Tower of Terror. You work at Tower of Terror? I have a name tag to prove it. That's pretty cool. I am not on script, by the way. You're not on script? Okay, good. Well, you memorized it well, if you are. <laughs> that's awesome. How old are you? Oh, you got to get your fingers ready. Okay, here we go. Seven. Same as my little buddy. I have a, I have a son named Liam, and he's also seven. Guys, do you smell that? It smells like sausages and hot dogs in a burnt. Sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> awesome. Are you a, um, so you do, what is it, what's your name again? It's Resort TV and then the number one. Resort TV. I'll show you what it looks like. Yeah, I'll show you. It looks like that. Cool. So we stream, you know, several nights a week from the parks. So get done teaching and come over here. My sister helps me as well. Oh, cool. What's your name up here? Too? My name is Josh, but this is Resort TV One as our channel. <laughs> yes. Everybody in the chat says you're so cute. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, you guys have a wonderful night. You too. Nice to meet you. Thanks, Josh. Uh, well, nice to meet I'm, you guys. Well, we have a TikTok account. You do. What is his name? I didn't catch it. What, what was the name? I didn't. Gusto I don't think we could hear it. Gusto and Grace is our TikTok. Gusto and Grace. Yeah. And his name's Easton. I caught his name. I just didn't catch the TikTok yeah. name. Yeah. Guess what? What? We even changed our logo at Christmas time. Well, that's super festive. <laughs> uh, you're a lot of fun, buddy. You're still wide awake at almost 10 o'clock. Good for you. Thank you so much. Uh, it's nice to meet you guys. Okay, Have a good night. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> He's super fun. I had to say something because he was so cute conducting that. All right, we're going to go this way. It reminds me of Liam. Yeah, they they would have a great time together, wouldn't they? He and Liam, they would have a great time together. Oh, good luck, Colin. Good luck. Okay. I put my earmuffs back on. I had to take my earmuffs off so I could see. Not seared. Did I just say that? Yeah. I had to take my earmuffs off so I could see. <laughs> I had to take my earmuffs off so I could hear better. The music is so good. It's majestic. It's regal. It's amazing. I saw people putting all those words in the chat. I love it. What a great, great show. I'm sorry. I'm supposed to be tranquil, but I can't. That show's too exciting. That wasn't Leo? Yeah. <laughs> they would definitely be buds. Yep, for sure. Yep, for sure, Kelly. <laughs> they would be friends. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Please thank you, Josh, you and Steph, for telling us about On Guard the other night. It's really helped me with the cold. That's awesome, Carol. Yeah, it's really great stuff. And they make these On Guard drops, and even if you don't, have a membership to the doTERRA place that sells it you can get them on amazon too and they're really really good they they are just it really burns off all that that gunk between that and zycam i keep my i can keep you know anytime i get like drainage or something i can keep my throat pretty clean and it has now gotten much cooler
Thank you for enabling us who are far away to witness uh, the power of love from this live feed. Thank you so much, Chris and Henry from Yonkers. Thank you, guys. I'm so glad that you feel that way and that you enjoyed the stream. So, guys, we're going to have a, a premiere at 10 o'clock. In just 12 minutes, we're going to premiere on Retro TV One Tech. So, thank you for staying with me. And thank you for all the kind words, too. I, you know, people saying it was my stream and I could, you know, show, show what I wanted. I appreciate that. I probably, <laughs> I shouldn't, I shouldn't get upset sometimes, but sometimes I see people like complaining about stuff. I'm like, yeah, you don't have to watch. But, you know, anyway, like I said, it's, it's, I should just ignore it. But it's, every once in a while, we work really hard and it's frustrating to see that kind of stuff. And it's like, you know, it's like nobody's forcing anybody to watch. So we're glad that you're here. Um, but, and we don't mind suggestions. You know, if somebody says, hey, can we ride this ride? Or can we do this? Or can we do that? But you know, ultimately, we have to decide because we're the ones that have to walk through the parks. And I, I'm, and most everybody understands that. What, wait, are they doing the Acrobat show again? Or is this for the uh, this for the Festival of Holidays? with the, Is it the Monkey King or something that's the holiday uh, Christmas? Um, not Christmas, but the uh, New Year. Um, what, they, what they show. I don't know. Anyway. We take on guard every trip, including the hand spray and a whole bag of my oil pharmacy. Mouse keepers must be scratching their heads when they come to our room. Oh no, I'm sure they have a lot of people who use that. Thanks, Diane. Hey, Josh, our daughter was accepted uh, to all county chorus for Orange County. We're so proud of her. That's awesome. Well, congratulations to her. That's so cool. Oh, she's gonna have a great time at all county chorus. It's authentic, Josh, and we love it. Thanks, David. I do try. I'm so glad you stayed for the finale. Thanks, Kathleen. It was very special. Will you please watch a retro tech video at 10 p.m.? Yes, Dan, you sure can. You sure can. We got your wish is granted here. I don't know why I'm still plugged in. My phone is already up to 60%. Ugh. It's also stuck. Why is it stuck? There we go. Okay. So tomorrow we're going to be live at uh, Jollywood Nights. All night at Jollywood. We're going to be streaming until like 1 a.m. tomorrow. It's going to be cold, but it's okay. It's going to be fun. All the Christmas spirit will keep us warm. That was cheesy, but I liked it. Your stream is the best. I'm just amazed how you do this so many days and you don't get tired. Judith, I do get tired, <laughs> but I just love it so much that it keeps me going. So, But thank you so much. I appreciate it. Definitely been tired uh, today. I think that's why I was so out of it today at school because I've been getting five hours sleep the last couple nights because I've been working on those videos. Uh, I worked on this video really, really late tonight, the, uh, the system source video. So I do hope a lot of people will watch it because it really it means a lot to me. Also, if you missed the uh, Free Play Florida video that I did last week, I didn't premiere that one. Um, well, I didn't premiere it after a stream. So definitely come check that out. Hello. How are you? Of course. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. That's awesome. I was walking around telling you, I'm like, I wonder where Josh is today. And you're like, <laughs> That's <laughs> so funny. Show, huh? Thank you. Why yeah. is it so cold here, Josh? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Ridiculous. It's just like, yeah. It's, it's like not supposed to be this cold. cold. I know. People in Michigan are like, oh, it's 17. I'm like, no, this is 17. Yeah, this is really cold for Florida. Where are you from? I'm from Washington, D.C., Northern Virginia, like on the border. See, so you know what cold is. Yeah. And it's yeah. cold here. And I came here weather. I'm like, what's going on? Well, if you're staying until Thursday or Friday, it's going to be yes, warm. Yes, it should be so. nice. Yeah. Now, is it your birthday? Today it is. Yes. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. <laughs> I actually met Tanya today as well. Oh, awesome. I just love. And uh, I'm hoping to meet you too. See, everybody so. saying hi to you in the chat. Hey, everyone. <laughs> hey, y'all better thumbs up right now if you haven't. That's right. And subscribe. There we go. Hi. <laughs> So Love you fun. guys. I watch you all the time. Oh, I don't chat, you. but I watch all the time. Well, I appreciate it. Yes. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't. That's right. And do this. Thumbs up. I'm just going to give you the stream. You got Let's it down. Go. You're Let's ready. Go. Let's do it. <laughs> so fun. And I have to tell you, we can walk into Yeah, let's walk. Sure, sure. I love how you appreciate old Disney. Like all the, the traditional ways of Disney. World. Oh, yeah, for sure. The retro, the ways it used to be. I mean, I love it now. 
Yeah. yeah. But there's something different. You know, uh, like, it, there is some differences yeah. for sure. I appreciate things that they've kept here that are the same. And I just like sit in it. I have to like luxuriate in the areas that are retro. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. No, I love, that's why I love like riding, living with the land and spaceship birth. Yeah, they've changed a little, but they're still kind of the same. And Soren is back to the old ways, which is nice. Yes, I love that. I said they should redo the world one and just have all like real video and no computer stuff. Agreed. Like there's enough, I said there's enough beautiful things in the world they could surely find some video of, yeah, of things. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so are you solo tonight? I am, yeah. Always nice. Tranquil Tuesday solo. Tomorrow we're going to Jollywood, Hollywood Studios. Right, so you're going back again. Yeah, we're going back again. Good deal. This time no media night, so we'll be like able to give people our, you know, people got kind of mad last time, so we'll be able to give our honest review of it. Yeah. <laughs> Like, right, day. exactly. Are you going with Jenna and the parents? Uh, just Jenna. Just Jenna, nice. Yeah, it's the funny thing was we had bought the opening night and then the uh, we got the media invite. We're like, well, we should probably show that and see what it's about. Yeah. You know? So it was super fun. So good. But no, um, I love all the retro stuff. The other thing I noticed today, eating dinner, Spaceship Earth was glowing, and then uh, I was in Connections, yeah. and Connections above Starbucks was glowing the same color. I thought, well, that's probably just a coincidence. Oh. Well, then it changed, and it changed the same. And oh. so Spaceship Earth was a candy cane, and so was the thing above Starbucks. And I was like, okay, now that's the cool old-school Epcot stuff I love. Yes. Just those little, like, silly little touches that nobody would notice except for, like, the hardcore people. Okay, I yeah. know. Even the merch was different. Yeah. yeah. I just want the T-shirts that have, like, attractions on them. Yep. Or the Yep. Yeah, there's just something different about it. I will say, I like that they're doing uh, shirts for different hotels now. Yeah. So, like, you have a real, you can actually get a Polynesian shirt or, like, yeah. a boardwalk shirt or something. And the mug or the ornament. Yeah. yeah. I want, like, I come to Disney World, I want Disney World stuff. Yeah. You know, but. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I don't, I wasn't a big fan of the whole Disney Parks thing. Because I'm like, if I want to, like, I go to Disneyland, I want a Disneyland shirt. I don't sure. want a Disney Park shirt, you know, yeah, so. Yeah, totally, yes. I think they finally figured that out. <laughs> They said she's awesome. Love her energy. I love you guys. Did you hit the thumbs up yet? That's I, what's most important. I think they did. All right, good. <laughs> okay. If not, Sophia's gonna come after you. I will. <laughs> You're at Epcot, y'all. How many do we have watching? Uh, 1748 right now. There you go. So actually, in five minutes, I'm gonna have to get off of here because I'm premiering a video on the Retro Channel. So good. Yeah. What's it on? It's a computer museum. Very good. So are more you guys retro. It? Yeah, somebody yes. sent me videos of a museum and I was like, I, I showed it and did that last night, stayed up way too late to edit it, and here we are. That's so good. Yeah, I don't sleep very much. It's okay though, because it's worth it. <laughs> I, mean, I actually just got the iPhone 15 oh, wow. and opened it this morning. Nice. And I thought about you, I'm like, here's all the tech stuff. Yeah, absolutely. All the good stuff. What are you working on right now? Uh, your phone that you're streaming? <clears throat> oh, this one, this is a S23 Ultra. Nice. Samsung. And you prefer that to an iPhone? For streaming. I have an iPhone for every day because it's a. I'm still on the 13 Pro Max because it's fine. Yeah. Definitely. But like, I have to have this because number one, I know how to use it better. Yeah. And number two, um, like everybody's on FaceTime, iMessage, blah blah, right. whatever. Totally. Like, sorry guys, I don't want to be a green bubble. We love all you guys either way, but. <laughs> no, it's kind of funny. They're they're trying to do away with all that, but they haven't quite got it done yet. Yeah, I totally get that. But actually, I, I have the best of both worlds because. There's some things about this. This thing takes way better pictures at night than the iPhone does. Does it really? Yep. The iPhone reflects everything, and this thing doesn't do that. Oh, so. gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So there are a lot of things that are good about the Samsung. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they all have their pros and cons. Yeah, for sure. Totally. It's so good. Well, it was amazing meeting you. I want to you keep too. you because you have to sign off, and I know you want to say your goodbyes. Yeah, it's all good, but it's so nice to meet you. Thank Likewise. you for talking to us. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Thumbs up. I'll see you all in the chat one Aww. day. I don't chat, but I watch you, you all the time. Voice. Thank you. And I'm going to, so that's Aww. my mom. Hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice to meet you. Yeah, like, thanks for all you do. Absolutely. Really, we appreciate it, especially keeping it family-friendly, family-focused. Yeah. It's important these days. So, yeah. yeah, we value that for sure. Well, thank yeah, you. I appreciate right. it. Take care, Josh. God uh, bless you. Bye, you guys. Too. Bye. You Bye. <laughs> All right, guys. So nice to meet her. We are going to. Um, we are. <laughs> bye. <laughs> we are going to sign off here in just a second. In fact, actually, let's sign off. Where should we sign off? In front of the tree. Okay. Yeah, she does remind of Jordan. Um, so anyway, guys, thank you so much. She was great. 
thank you so much for um, joining me tonight. It's been super fun. I do have to end the stream so that we can start the premiere. I hope that you will enjoy the premiere. Please come over, support us on the premiere. It's going to be awesome. Please. Oh yeah, you like my you like my earmuffs. <laughs> anyway, uh, you know I gotta keep my ears warm. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Hey, Social Blade. Bye. See you later. Thanks for being here. All right, everybody. So I am going to sign off of here. Please come watch the retro video. We appreciate all you guys. It's been super fun. Merry Christmas, everybody. Uh, and thank you so much. Yeah, aren't these great? I've had these since I was like in high school or something. I don't know. Anyway, they still work. They, I don't, I don't know. It's definitely a fashion statement for sure. I don't think it's a good fashion statement, but my, my ears are warm and it's fine. <laughs> anyway, thanks for being here, guys. We will see you very, very soon tomorrow for Jollywood Nights. So for now, have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Bye-bye.